I'm ignoring the background of the screen. It is just... I was I forgot to change the backdrop of the intro screen, so it's League of Legends for now, but no worries. We are doing Portal 2. Raymond is here. Say hi to huh, what? Yep, yep. Raymond is here. He's going to be joining me in the Portal 2 co-op. We're going to be doing the DLC, um, so... I don't know... Was it? It's a new DLC. It's not like super new. It's actually kind of old. But um, Raymond hasn't done it. I've done most of it. But uh, whatever. It's a lot of fun. I love Portal 2. It's like my favorite game of last year. So there's Raymond. His huh, crazy what? self. Me? That's you. Hi. Now I just need to make sure it's not like fluttering. Oh, I'm supposed to gesture to you. Hi. Hi. The upcoming test require you to work together as a team. <laughs> to facilitate collaboration, both of you have been equipped with a ping tool. Blue, please use your ping tool to select your favorite animal. Oh god, no, I didn't want to do that. Use your ping tool, you motherfucker. You're blue. Can they hear me? You're blue, yes, they can hear my you. Favorite, my favorite animal uh, is a tiger. Oh, no, so they can't see the screen, though. <laughs> they can't see the screen? Give me a sec. Oh, Dewey's uh, just messing things up. There we go. Apply. Oh dear. It's getting Blue, all funky now. Lados is yelling at me. To select your favorite animal. Use your thing. She. I'm. I'm waiting for them to see the screen. Do we? I don't want them to miss anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay. There. Um. So my favorite. My favorite animal is a tiger. Please use your ping tool to select a tiger. Your animal. Yeah. It's not so, on there. I don't see a tiger, so we're gonna go with the horse. Good. Lame choice. Please observe your partner's favorite animal. I like riding horses, so whatever. Orange. Lame. Please use your ping tool to select yeah, your favorite element. If you don't pick, table. if you don't pick gold, you're a loser. My favorite. No, who wants to pick gold? Gold is boring. Gold is money. All right. Maybe to some people. Yeah, that's right. Really? Okay. Gladys does not approve. Observe your partner's. She's like, whatever. Hey, why'd I'll you pick ZN? Is that like zinc? Pretty Is sure it zinc? How do you know that's zinc? I don't know. Your Chemistry? Can also be used I think it's zinc. I don't know if it's zinc, actually. <laughs> so the point is to jump as much. Oh, I died! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't watching for no, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to tweet the live stream, I don't even know what's going on. I died. I, I need your help, Dewey. Okay. You need, you need my help what? To get to my portal gun. Okay. How do I do that? Uh teamwork. High five. Do High five. Jump? Do you just jump? No, it seems like a little bit of a distance to jump. Uh do we really suck at portal this bad? I've not played Portal in a long time. Dawn does, it, of does it just jump? It might just be jump. Nope, it's not jump. I died again. Don't worry. You can't die. They will just reassemble you. I got reassembled. I'm sorry, I didn't die. You didn't die. No. Good. Do we? Hi. Hi, how's it going? I can only place a portal on a white portalable surface. Oh! oh! You gotta use the F key! Use the F key! I use the F key. What up, bitches? Blue is first to acquire a portal device. Yeah, what you got, bitch? Wait for this orange, orange bastard. Now has a portal device, but each device can create two self-contained portals. Yeah. Please test your device by portaling to that ledge. Testing devices and Calibrating shit. Calibrating Blue's weight. So, uh, how's everybody in the live stream doing? <laughs> Got a little portal. Your ping tool is invaluable for communicating specific locations to Oh, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. You do, you're a good friend, you know that? I try. Don't let Zach make fun of you, okay? Uh, he does that sometimes. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm gonna hit the E button. I Go did. E! Like mini me. Oh, I see. Oh, there's another one. Getting vibrated over here. Wait, I gotta get like, this phone Calibrate. call. Give me a second. No All right, man. Hello? Hello? Do you know humans frown on weight variances? Uh, if you want no, I was trying to Skype you. Just say their weight variances oh, yeah, are below the norm. Oh, I can hear. That's about you. Um. 
I can't I can't talk right now, do we in our live streaming? Um Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, that was Pow Chu everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. She's mad at me. Oh, so. Raymond did something bad. Do you gotta catch the box. Catch the box, do Catch the box. Orange. Yeah, orange. Give me the box, orange. Yeah. Oh, he took my box! You bastard. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go over here and then take it from you. Well, look at this this car Raymond character. He's just thinking ahead. <laughs> he what knows I what do? he's doing. <laughs> I'm thinking that's not gonna help me any. Yeah, how about this one? No, I can't reach this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> What we do here at the media kids house? That's all the kids are calling us these days. Run, run! I can't run. There's no ru there's no sprint button on the PC. The we got confetti. Calibration. High five. Completing this course was not a reason to behave like that. High five. Let's yes, very nice. Testing. That's what we do up in the hood, G. You're forcing me to high five you. I have no choice. You don't have a choice. I'm I always, a master. I always play as co-op as a different character. So I always think I I'm blue. A, so I keep on going. I have a hat. Um, I'm wearing a hat. I have a hat too. No, you have a flag. I have Team Fortress 2 flag. Yeah, but I have a hat. Let's take that. Well, my flag is better. I don't know why, but it just is. You're so racist. How am I? How is that racist? Just accept it, okay? Fine. <laughs> run, Peabody, run. Ah, uh, you said P. What's the What's the sprint button in this game? courses are currently available. Uh, W tap. Just Wait, come here. Check me out. I'm laughing and shit. And then and then I go like this, and I'm like, What up, bitch? Ow! Took your head. No, my shit. head. <laughs> Jerk. Ow! Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. Alright, I already forgot how to do that. Wait, I can do it now. Um... You. Aw, oh, Dewey's spinning around and shit. Oh my god. Dewey! There we go. Stand on a button. Which button? The button. The button. Where? <laughs> this one. Oh, Th this what? button. The underneath it? I don't no. Oh, what are you talking about? The oh, this button, this button, this button. Yeah, send on that button. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> this is the new. So this is how I get to the DLC, huh? Yep. All right then. I've never been to the DLC before, so. Now, don't go this way. That's where Zach went the first time. But that's where the exit goes. Yeah, it's not gonna get. I want to. I want to exit. <laughs> going crazy. No, we don't want to do nine. Raymond. I don't want to do level 9, I want to do level 1. Level 1. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis. Alright, another loading screen. Good job, Valve. Make this a simple. Well, maybe if someone had a better computer, it would load faster. Maybe. Stop using a PC. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it say my name when you're doing your loading screen? No. Yeah, it does. Oh, Fawn Siegel, your partner in science. Welcome yeah. to the future. It has been 100,000 years since I last assembled you for testing. That's a long time. Remember those humans you found? Because they're all fine. In fact, we solved science. You're going to hurt me. You, oh, not. Testing is simply an artistic I promise I'm not going to hurt you. The humans insisted I show you my latest installations. Here in the future, Damn it. where all the humans See? are alive. Promised. I call this first piece tourists. It's an exploration of how we're all devices <laughs> after simply <laughs> express directives, inflicting pain despite our own desires. Don't get distracted by the subtext, though, because the text is that they're going to be It says to be beware of water, bullets, and don't drink from the fountains. I like drinking from fountains. Okay, they're asking me why I, do have, why I have a Mac. Uh, I actually have two Macs. Ah! Sorry. I have these Macs because they're good for editing video. And that's the majority of what I do for media cows, so well that and play video games. So yeah. Anyways, uh I, but I have 
windows on my Mac so I can do other things as well. What does this button do? Uh, okay, it does that. You need... I got my shit set up over here. I don't, I don't know what my shit needs to be. Actually, so. I don't know if I do. Yeah, I do. I have the only way I can possibly set up anything over here. Um, how do you, how do you drop the block? I got it! You got it? I got it, yo! Oh. That's what we do in the hood, G. No, I need, you need to shoot the laser beam over here somehow. I need to do, I need the box. No. Yeah, I do. No. Yeah. Well then, just keep the box. My box, bitch. My box. Kill my, kill these. Take this, kill these turrets. <gasps> He's ah! murdering the tur- Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> Ow, it burns! I feel bad doing that to the turrets. What did the Damn. turrets ever do to deserve that? Okay, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. What's the sprint button, seriously? I don't there isn't a sprint button, I'm pretty sure. I have completed the campaign, I've completed the co-op campaign as well, have not okay. completed the DLC yet, so you guys are gonna get my very first time no, playing the laser. DLC. Shoot laser, shoot laser here. I can't shoot laser yes, there. You, can. you, you can. have box. You put one portal there, one portal there. Where? Uh, where the laser's shooting. There we go. Ow! I need it over more. <laughs> uh, I did it. Ah! Yeah, doesn't feel so good when it's on the other side. <laughs> I'm mur murdering these poor turrets. You're so mean. So we do up in the hood, G. Yo, dog. What y'all know about my shit, STDs? Yo, mommy? Mama? Mama. I I'm Mama. I don't know, I just start putting portals everywhere until I... Oh, this is confusing. Oh, uh, no, I think I was supposed to be on the other side. What's this do? I win. Eyeball. Eyeball. <laughs> no, I let it Oh, there's a ball? Yeah. Where do you see a ball? I need to get the ball to you. Okay, because I'm already at the at the gate. Like yeah. I, I went too far then, I think. Yeah, you did. Come back. But so that goes there, and then put it through there and through there. I'll put something into you. Yeah. Okay. So you need to put one portal there and one portal yeah. there. No, I don't. Well, fine then. Try it. I did. Do it again. Wee! Oh, I remember it now. Hold on, I missed my part. See? I know what I'm doing. Raymond doesn't know shit. What the fuck? Oh god. <sighs> uh. You're supposed to be in, over there to catch well, it. Fell, fell into the water. You're supposed to be over there to catch it. But I can't, otherwise my portals will disappear. You need to time it. Okay. Let me know when it happens. It's when when it yeah, leaves this fine, portal. Fine. Fine. Where's the ball? Ball. Ooh. Ball. 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 <laughs> uh. Hey. Oh. Take that Kirby Pocket. What? Yeah. Are you I the n Are you the new white Kirby Pocket? That's right. Why I gotta I'm be white? Huh? Because you're white. For as long as you did. High five. High five. Everything's fine. Very nice. You go in the wrong tunnel. <laughs> uh. My stream's quality is really nice right now. It is. It's very leggy. I mean, not that leggy. <laughs> very dick. <laughs> Look at me, I'm playing a PC game. LOL. Haha. <laughs> we have to beware of falling. I or no, we have to those. beware of those. Those, no, we have those to are for noobs. Watch okay. out for dig noobs. diglets. Dig what the fuck are you doing in there? This one? Nothing. Yeah. It's an early work of primitive expression. <laughs> Just bang your sheep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't do anything. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a box. 
I'm gonna use said yeah, box, um, box on your mom. <laughs> so what's the intended purpose here? Hold on. I think I need to go through this portal thing. Banger majigger. That's racist. Wait. No, no, I had it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. No, so I need to be there, and then you be one. You you do the other one. You shoot the one above it where mine was. Pretty women silhouetting. Blah 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 blah. Down the street, uh, pretty I have I have my 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 lady friend's favorite movie is the Sweeney Todd's, so it's stuck in my um, head. Um, now what do I do? <laughs> no. Debate. You're gonna have to put it back. Um, debate. Is there another thing that that can go through? Oh, it's like right there, isn't it? Hold on, let me come down. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, I, uh, I failed. I see what to do there, Gavna. Failed. I failed. Wait, wait. Which color? Yeah, I need to redo that. I got it, Gavna. I'm back. I'm black. You are not black. How do you know? Because I've seen you. When? When you were showering. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I saw your true skin. He's a werewolf, guys. Okay, now put the put the thing in there so I can come out. What? Put the the laser beam jigger there. I need to be able to get out of this room. Very confused. There's a bridge in here. Ah! No, one more up. <laughs> you said to put it there. No, one more up. Oh, that one. I meant I, I just shot where you pointed, okay? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I red, did. Red, 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 red. Okay, so then you need to shoot it there, right? Right, and I had that, and then you went through the thing again. Get on the thing, Dewey. Behind you. What? There. Right oh. there. Go there. Hey, I'm not on it yet. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I some how are you gonna get up here though? I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. Let me down. I think it re involves me using the this, and then yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, wait. I almost got this. There. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then you shoot one portal there. One portal there. Did I do it? They do a good job. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, wait, I lied. One portal there. What? You need the, the portal you have there? Go there, yeah. Okay, and then put the block in the stream and then run over here. So put the block there, like place it in the, the floaty thing, and then oh. come over here. Gotcha. Run, 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 run. You need to get here I, before it... I can't run. Run, faster, faster, faster. There's no sprint button. Hey! You are a jerk. <laughs> Why you gotta be so mean to me? <laughs> Fail. Fail, Raymond. Fail. You did it! No. -uh. You know what? No. <laughs> this ne it needs to be pointing the other way. <laughs> what? See how your thing isn't pointing towards I there? I didn't do a damn thing! Yeah, I know you didn't do a damn thing. You never do a damn thing, right? <laughs> Ow! That's <was> my face! <laughs> oh no, that is not gonna work, child. No, 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 no. Oh god. See, okay, how are you plan on getting <laughs> up there now? <laughs> Woo! Just need to put it in the stream right. Here, fine, let you I'll just do all the damn work here. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I don't understand the point of anything at all ever. Go in there, go in there. Don't you high five me. I would never want to high five you, you're a jerk. See? I don't know what I'm doing. Good. Please proceed to the next test appreciation exhibit and interact with it in such a way that it might be called solving. If we still cared about solving things in the future, but we don't. I don't have all the gestures for some reason. I only have four gestures. Really? One. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you gonna always jerk. hit me after I do that? You're a jerk. Because I don't like you beating up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
not fun. They're deconstructing my body. Hey, they're saying that it's going to take forever in the live stream. Hey, what and a, that they we don't, don't know what to do. do. Hey, I beat this, so I know how to... I should be able to breeze through this. I won't, because I'll forget how to do everything, but... Good. And I'll let Raymond solve a couple of them, so that way he feels necessary. Safety? So, the key in Portal is just to shoot portals everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. I, typically hate I hope art you got that on the stream, it was fun. Into art appreciation. I got your death. But the way you just Good. swan dived your biases directly into that acid was actually quite beautiful. See, she was complimenting your swan diving into acid. Swan dive! Into the greatest butthole you've ever slicked. Something. Dewey, I need your help. I need this thing to come down. What this thing? This. No, what? you need it. No, I need this. How do I do that? Uh, you gotta hit this button over here. How do I get over there? Magic. How oh, can I just do that? Is it as simple as that? No, not as simple as that. You gotta do a thing up there. No, I think I need your help for this. But I'm already at the cube! Yeah, I know. You need to go to the cube later. Oh, but I like the cube now. Cause so in order to go over there, it looks like Whee! we have to like launch us. But so where'd you go? <laughs> launch ourselves over there. In order, so we need to put one on that side, one on that side. How do you do that? Magic. Yeah. You use Minecraft. Okay, go in here. I'm just gonna launch myself back and forth through portals. <laughs> and then you go throw it there. Okay, so he's zooming up and down there, and then I place something there and there, and then he flies through. So yeah, I see and a hits one. that. Hmm. Swan dive into the greatest thing of. Thinginess. Oh, can he maybe? Hold on, come here. Come here, son. Come Me? here, child. Yes, where are you? I'm, I'm here. Go back to the other side. Oh. I have my own portal gun, you know. Okay, now come up here. God damn it. <laughs> okay, now put yourself in an infinite loop here. Can't. You can. Oh yes, I can. Ridgy no, I'm not there. Not th oh yeah, you can. You know what you're doing. Okay. No. Oh God. <laughs> no, you. You are a murderer. You didn't put yourself in a loop. Like I told you, you went off exploring all by yourself. <laughs> all I did. Put one here. Okay. Okay. Th okay. Now remember, dark one goes on bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Okay. This is fun. Now Check me out. I don't. Er oh. Yeah. So this is where we run into that impasse. Now, what? Now. What impasse? You got me in an <laughs> loop, and you're telling me you don't have things figured out? Now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Um. <laughs> If I should, <laughs> I'm oh, we're playing on Xbox or PC. That's funny. Well, Dewey's playing on PC. I'm playing on Mac. Because <laughs> I'm crazy like that. <laughs> hey, you fucker! <laughs> what? <laughs> well, okay. So, so I don't actually know exactly what to do here. So. Yeah. So your your plan is to kill me, Dewey. It's obvious. Come here. You need to. Shoot Somehow through this thing. put a portal there and yeah. then on the other side. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Okay, you go do that. Can you put yourself in an infant loop and then get I out? I don't need to. You just shoot portals. Fine. Uh. Uh. Crap. 
Hold on. Uh, how do I get... Uh, easy way to get back to the start. <laughs> no, your portal gets to hear them, do we? I don't, yeah, I know, I don't so really care. So there is no real solution. Fine. But if there were, that probably isn't the best way to find it. Uh, you guys smell like poop. Do 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 do. You guys smell like poop. Smell like poopy shit in your butthole. Okay, so I got one there. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know how to put them on both sides without yes, dying. I get it. You love the deadly acid. We all love the deadly acid. Maybe Can if we I move go on there. To the next exhibit now? I want to move on to the next exhibit too, GLaDOS, but hey. Dewey's just being stupid. No, I don't know how Take to put it there. You shoot a portal. I know, but how? I can't see it. Portal. So, like, I got one there. Now, oh, here, you need to come out here, come out here, and, oh. and sh put me over there. Uh, oh! Yeah. Brain power! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright, ready for this? Oh, ready? I see what you're doing. I I'm about see to rape your doing. mind. Buzz up, bitches! Oh! He did it I wrong. did an infinite loop. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to come and rescue you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> wait, I think I, I, wait, wait, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. Don't oh, do anything. No, Don't I already anything. fucked up. You need to come out here anyway. Don't. Okay. What hole am I falling into? Oh God, what am I? Okay, dark, of? dark blue, dark blue, dark blue, light blue. Ah! All right, I'm out. Okay. All right, you figure your shit out. Go, ninja! Go, ninja! Go! All right, we're all good now. I should just shoot him off into the acid. <laughs> I don't be a jerk, Dewey. That's what Zach Felling would do. I think he did that to me, actually. We we did it. Okay. Sexually. Now, now I need to get back over there, right? Uh, I don't know, but the thing just went down. The button's no longer existing. Okay, that means it's probably permanently there. Oh god, so many holes to get there. Okay. I heard a gobble! My phone is at 88%. I, that's good, I guess. I know this isn't very exciting to those of you who are watching. Dewey's Skyping or Twittering or doing some kind of sexual activity with people on his phone. <laughs> okay, um, go there, aha, and go there. No, where, yeah, where, where, where will it shoot it? Oh, you need to catch it. Okay, catch mode activated. Ah! <laughs> How do I catch it? You jump from in between, it's a timing thing. Oh, got ya, got ya. Understand, got Okay, you just keep on- Go! Go. Go. Do it. Ah, I missed! Well, it spawned me another one. Okay, yeah. it spawns Go me. now! Do it now! Do it now! Ah! I got this! Okay. Go! Oh. Dude, you're Oops. stuck! <laughs> Go! Go! Ah! Got it! I got it! We're good! <laughs> Well done. Seagull for the win. We navigated all of the exhibit's intended metaphors in record time. So I'm marking this <laughs> those of you who are wondering what Raymond is doing, is just flying across <laughs> spamming E. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. Great oldies. Cool and white. Fuck. <laughs> Local radio stations. That's right. One point three <laughs> KDWB. Oh. Uh. Dewey. Hmm. People want you to say their name. Who? Abfidus. <laughs> Adilo7123. I know I'm not Dewey, but I figured, I whatever. You know what? It doesn't matter what it's called. The important thing is you enjoy it as fast as you can. Well, I don't, I don't want to... Ooh, we get bouncy! We get bouncy floors Ooh, bouncy in this one. Bouncy. I like bouncy floors. Bouncy. They're fun. Oh, yes! 
Yes! Uh, oh, you're gonna take control of it, huh? Fine then, jerk. Um. I'm painting walls. Paint the walls, paint the walls, paint the walls. Paint the walls, paint the walls. Showing the walls, my blue balls of paint. Oh god. That's uh some interesting balls you got there. I'm making a jump! Fuck it! No! <laughs> Raven, you killed me, you dick! <laughs> and then in process I killed you. But I see you figured that out. Why did you kill me? Because we both tried to jump at the same time. I'm going first because they can see me on the screen. Oh. <laughs> 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 <Sometimes you're laughs> what? That was perfect, Raven. Because I knew you were going to do that. God damn it. I wanted the viewers to watch me go first. And then you were like, LOL, no. Fine, I'll, I'll let you go first. You missed a spot. You suck I, at painting. Jesus. Hey, I never, never letting you paint my no. house. <laughs> Ever. Fact, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Whee! <laughs> oh, I'm all blue. I'm blue, body, be I blue. I'm blue, baby, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, now where do we go? Your butt. Now we're. <laughs> I don't. I actually have no clue where we go now. Oh, I know. Wait, I'm gonna take wait, a shower with blue paint. Ah. I'm blue. Bam, 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 bam. Oh. Hey, that doesn't help me at all. Check. <laughs> Check. <laughs> <Jerk. Jerk. laughs> Are you broken? Yes. It looks like you're malfunctioning. I was dancing. Jesus. Don't be so mean about it. Raymond shooting bridges everywhere. Lattice is a jerk of a jerk <gasps> face. Speedy stuff. Speedy Gonzalez! Ah! Do you um, just kill yourself? Yep. yep, you did. <laughs> okay. Dewey, she called you a failure. Dewey, I need your help with testicles. Come on, Dewey, I can only stand on this button for so long. Am I doing it right? You're doing it wrong! Oh, whoops. A dark. No, Dewey, here! I did there. Where did it go? Right here. Oh, that's blue! Yeah, I need to get the friend cube. Fr it's a companion cube! Companion cube! No! Dewey, you like killing yourself a lot, okay. don't you? I'm uh, officially switching the theme of this exhibit to survival. Why don't okay. you try Oh, it's that like now? Minecraft. Um, survival of Minecraft. Um, ideas? Use the orange. No, what's that gonna do for me? You use the orange. Wait, I have an idea. Do it. Put a portal there. Put what? a portal right, right there. Where do you point? Why? Because you have to trust Ray Siegel. Not. No, do it. <laughs> I put it where you told me to. Oh. You're right. <laughs> trust Ray Siegel. Gotcha. <sighs> Uh, this needs to be blue again. I'm blue. Bam, bim, bam. Yo quiero Taco Bell, señorita. Mamita, oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Totally figured it out. Dude, look, look at Dewey in his brain. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Here we go. There's, there's, there's no blue though. Oh anymore. god. Oh god. No, no more. No <laughs> you zooming. need the blue. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zim zim boom, boom, boom. Where'd he go? Okay. Wait, my turn. You're... Ready? Ready? And I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we actually jump back down. 
Damn it! <laughs> yeah, because now we can permanently stand on that. And... Uh, What's the crouch button like oh in God. Minecraft? C. Control. Control. Control, but... Does that work? This is a this is a Does Mac. Work? Try, cr cr think try crouching over the edge. Try crouching over the edge. Does it work? I I'm going to say no. <laughs> it does. It does to a point, and then you can you but you can fall off of it. It does work to a point. Okay. Um. Oh, um, uh, what the fuck is that gonna accomplish? Well, you had something there. You had something. I think. Cause you ain't got shit now. We need to get up there. That's surely not gonna do anything for us. No. No. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Magic! No, put one there, <laughs> and one there. Okay, then what? You smarty pants. Okay, so that's blue, then one there, one there. What? What? Where's the red one? Put a red one here. Look at my brain being all smart and shit. Did it actually work? Or I don't know, but I'm certainly bouncing. <laughs> I don't think I'm bouncing high enough. Oh wait. How do I get something there? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That that did not go well. Okay. Um. Oh, I just had an idea. How did I get something there? Oh, I need blue to. Here, you need to undo your bridge for a second. But I'll die. No, you won't. And now you'll die. <laughs> undo your bridge. Oh my God, you suck. I did it. All for you, baby. Okay, wait for the blue goop to come down. Okay, now you can put your bridge back. Again? Mm -hmm. How do I do that? You put one there and one there. What? One there. There you go. There you go, buddy. You got this. Coming over to you. Okay. Now, you do one there and there. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I'd then I went off on the on an angle. It was all bad. It was it was a mistake, full fledged mistake. Actually, no, I lied. Hey, I'm I was trying that to go first, through that. You can't make a mistake. There, now you can do all the running. So now you go, we jump, boom. I did it! You know, that was on some me. of the exhibits up ahead are topical. Space! At the rate you're going, space. by the time space. you get to them, they'll be irrelevant. I'm in space. What I love about the DLC is that they like, there's sure? still as much charm and oh. like, humor in it. It's December's not working. It's nothing to worry about. It's actually funny in a way you don't understand. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, brace yourself. I'm going to open the maintenance hole. Oh shit. Brace myself. We're in the maintenance hole. We went down Brace the myself. hole. myself. That's a meme. We went with the guy from Lord of the Rings. Is it? Yeah. Baramur. He says, brace yourself. The posts are coming. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that was a meme. It's a meme, Dewey. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Look, I was going to break this to you gently with all that art utopia garbage, but she's forced my hand. Listen to me carefully. We are not a hundred thousand years in the future. I lied about that. It's been fifty thousand years. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I lie when I'm nervous. It's only been a week. <laughs> the next logical question. Why am I nervous? I'm not. That was another lie. We're in a lot of trouble. It's one week later, we are in a lot of trouble, and you really, really need to get those disassemblers back on. I don't think so. I don't want to put the disassemblers Black Mesa, look, robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. Huh. 
Aw, oh, these floors aren't made out of stuff. Oh, that's sad. I bet you we need to find some floor. Oh, ha. Oh my god, look, it's me. I want look, this Dewey, poster. Look, I found me. Dewey, look, come here. I found me. <gasps> what are you doing there? I am magical. It's like you have a penis on your head. I also, I also found you. Tw twice. Yeah, see. Oh, it's you again. You're all I'm over everywhere. the place. <laughs> I'm a magical person. What's over here? Can I get in here? Two, three, four. Not the right code, okay. It's a classroom. Is this are these the same classrooms as I can almost get up there. Do it, come here. Cycle the power. Hurry. Do it. We need Do I need a box? Where are you? Give me a box. A box? Yeah, something to jump on. See what I did there? Oh uh, yeah. Can I can you jump on me? I don't know, you're kinda t <gasps> Uh, wait, 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 oh god, I think I'm stuck. Move, move, I'm stuck. Okay, try again, try again, try again. Come on, we got this, we got, come on. Ah. <laughs> ah. 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 Oh, I'll, I'll try to I stand up. Me. Can you get on top of me? That's what she said. You ah. got this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is, I'm trying to rape Dewey's face right now. It's not <laughs> working. Alright, get up. Uh, let's, just, let's just try something else. Let's see. <laughs> Damn it! Out of my way, you raper. You fail! <laughs> you fail! It's life! I'm gonna go through the hole first. That's what she said. What's in the room? Enrich yourself today, volunteer for testing. Look, a mug! What does it say? A mug? What does it say? Like, it says. My. Like, like work. I just hate my bouse. Like a bouse. Like a bouse. They hate Dewey, obviously. What the frick? Is there something special about this room? I don't think so. I think this room oh, is. Oh shit. And then Dewey just fucks us. <laughs> I think we're good. We are good. Okay. We just have to walk a little extra. We need exercise. You look a little fat there. Thank you. Now you have a flag. I do. I got a flag and a hat. Why don't you have a hat? I should have a hat. Oh, you do! Oh, it's a little beanie hat with the spinner on top. That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill a baby. We have to go in here. And this name will be Dewey. Oh. Wait, there's a thing for this. Yeah, do the counter thing. I don't know the button, though. Good work. The disassemblers are fixed. Oh, shit. That was a lot. No! But they're definitely less broken than they were. There's one at the end of this unfinished test area. <gasps> no! Dewey, go, go into the hole. Go into your hole, Dewey. No! Ow. Ha uh ha. -huh. <gasps> yes! Code everything! What? It's white! The color of semen! <laughs> the, the, the secret to this is coat everything in white. Like your semen. You're supposed to. God, you're supposed to steal from the original source, you jerk. See, now that you have. Here, get, allow me to get over there. Help me get over there. No. God damn. Where did my portal go? Oh, it's not active at the moment. Um, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, you worry about your red portal, okay, mister? Red portal. There's, there is a, f a companion cube. What one here? Where? Oh. Ah! Fail. I can't put one there. Hold on. I can do this, though. Put one there. And then put one there. This is just, this is a regular cube, Dewey. This is not a companion cube, okay? So, I'll kill the cube. <gasps> no, what if we needed that? I got one right here. Oh, I'll kill this one. <laughs> I want a companion cube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we, <laughs> what are we doing? 
Um, I don't know, I'm just playing with cubes. Oh, oh, do it, you need to make one go over there. Hold on. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Like your mom. I like can't put mouse. it there. Why? Because of the, the grid. The grid says no. It's not big enough yet. That's what uh -huh. she said. Can, do you, can you hear me okay? Do I sound good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. La 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 la. La 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 Can you get something on the ceiling over there? Up top, above us, above my head? Like there? Um. Yeah, I figured out how to do that. Can I do it on the back of us? That's what she said. Yes, I can. Wait! I got an idea. It's a bad idea, but it's but it is an idea. Wait, do it. Wait. What are you doing? I can't do anything. Cause Can you get me up there? Get me up there. Okay. Ah! What was the point no, of that, no, Dewey? You need to get me higher. Higher. I can't get you higher. Yeah, there you oh, go. Yes, That's fine. So stupid. Okay. Um. What's this way? Pointlessness. Oh wait, now I can put mine here. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. See now, now get what happens us. Happens if I jump down there. Get us up there. Huh? Oh. No, we need what we need it. We need it here. Why? Doesn't that work? Um. Or is it too close to the turrets? Yeah, I don't like the turrets. Turrets are mean people. I'm hitting the turrets. You can get behind them though. Check out Secret Agent Ray! Oh! 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 What you got? That was like perfect. I turned my back and all of a sudden they're all gone. They're all dead. <laughs> oh, we need the cube. Get the cube. But I'm killing turrets. Oh, I can get the cube now, actually. Oh, we don't need me anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, dizzy. Okay. That's how Ray Siegel does it. Like a bus. God damn it. Here's our problem. There's an old prototype chassis around here. Someone's found it, connected themselves to it, and is trying to take over my facility. <gasps> I've spent the last week attempting to turn one of those She's talking you about found into a killing machine. Like, well, you know who. It turns out most <gasps> humans are surprisingly fragile and surprisingly vocal about how fragile they are. <laughs> the moral of the story is all the humans are dead. So it looks like it's up to you two, Marshmallows. We got this. I'm not a marshmallow, okay? I'm a robot. <laughs> Dewey, don't listen to it. It is non-equal to us men. What? I don't know what that means, but that's one of the comments. Uh, if she's talking, if they're talking about GLaDOS, GLaDOS is superior to all of us, so... Absolutely, 100%. Oh, good. I wasn't sure the reassembly would work. It looks like our message. We get to fly in this one. Cassie is sending us a message. She's not afraid of me. And don't, don't drink water. I've got a plan. Let's keep testing and show her we're not oh. afraid either. No matter Bumpy how thing. genuinely lethal these tests oh, are. Oh, this one. Uh, oh, this one's painful, Raymond. I don't believe you. It is. Believe me. I said I don't believe you. I need a light bridge. Yeah, I know. Maybe this button has a light bridge. No, do you? Oh, oh. 
Uh, okay. Do it. Go over here. Go over. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Grab some boxes and shit. Do 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 do. Who is it, duty? Hold on, I got a plan. Oh, whoops. Here, I'll come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I got a plan. Hold on. No, I can get the light bridge. What? How? You just jump at the same time as me, okay? One, two, three. Oh god. Ah! I okay, I looked away, hold on. We got this. I don't understand what you Oh, I understand now. Okay, now you need to get us down there somehow. Uh well you kind of are fat, so I can't. Um Uh, here I'll go kill myself, sort of. Whee! Okay, were you able to get down? Yep, I did it. Although this portal doesn't bring us anywhere we need to go. So. Don't you, don't you dare go off that. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. Uh, oh, fuck. Look at you dying and shit. By doing that, you're Wonderful. walking right into her hands. Who's well, her? Technically, you're walking right into acid, but you understand my point. I don't. Uh, Dewey's really fucked himself over. <laughs> no, I got this. I got this. I, d I did this once or twice when I played this. Exact. <laughs> oh. This is a, this is funny just to watch. I have to laugh at you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. While you're doing this, I'll read comments. Oh, never mind, you got it. Yeah, see, I know what I'm doing. I'm a boss. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> Stop your laughing at my misfortune. Okay. <laughs> now, what does this do? I don't know, I have a yeah, shoot a portal right here. Cool. After no. that, I don't know. <laughs> what happened? Oh, shoot one here. What? Cool. Bro, how do I, how do you suppose I do that? <laughs> you shoot through the glass. Oh wait, I can just do this whole thing again. There you go, so now you're learning and shit. I'm not supposed to do that, this is a video game, you don't learn in video games. Bump me. Hold on, I'll get this. Oh god, I was looking down. Oh, this one's gonna be trickier to get. It's wedged in there nicely. <laughs> oh, wait, you can just come get it. Come get it. Oh, wait, no, because then your portal will die. No, no, yeah, you can come get it. Come get it. Can I? I can! You're right. That is smart thinking. Although, then I'm gonna. The, the bridge is gonna go down. You're right. Oh, wait, but then we can just shoot it up. Like here, right. come. just just shoot just the brick up. What? Just the brick. How does that help us? We have to be above the light bridge. No, we do don't. We? Oh yeah, we wait. Yeah, we do. We can't go through the bridge. Fine. Okay. When you come down no. next. Oh god. Go. <laughs> okay. Alright. So now what do I do? Oh, I shoot one here. Oh god, which one do I need? This... this color. Yay! Why? Go. Oh! I think yours is a little high. Mission accomplished. <laughs> okay. <Now she laughs> you ready? Jump in three, two, one. Just to get the okay. Why well, jump? Why did I... I oh, jump. I could just I'm got rid of... I'm going to turn you into killing machine. So you can murder her. I didn't know there was a platform there. I didn't see that. Your mom's a platform. Oh shit, son. That's yeah, that's yeah I went there. Oh mean. I'm not gonna lie. It's really only? No, it's not. What time is it? It's lying to me. It's 12:44 okay. a.m. Fun stuff. Why? Easy to get up in the morning. I do have to get up in the morning. But instead of sleeping, he's playing Portal 2 for the YouTubers. Let's see.
Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page 70. Ah. How tall are you, test subject? 49? I was unaware they stacked human waste that high. Oh. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Human waste is stacked at a median height of 7 feet 5 inches, and I am aware of it. Test subject, I've been told that your mother... Hmm. Well, that's just disgusting. <laughs> Do the training while I look at this. Oh, there's lots of complicated things here. Yeah, I don't like this game anymore. I think it's full of women. Do bullets go through the shield thing? Yep, yep, they do. They do. Bullets go through that. <laughs> uh. 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 Ah! <laughs> what did that do? I don't fucking know. Oh, it put up this orange thing. Oh, it made it go backwards. Um, oh, wait. No. Wait. No. Um. Do I need to get I over I'm there? Stuck. I need to get over there somehow. Look at what I did. Wait, haha. -ha. Hi! Okay, so that goes there. I'm getting. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! <laughs> ah! Sister, stupid sister, watching live stream. Okay, um. Uh, uh. I figured this out a half a second ago. Okay, you're going that way, that's good. Hop in there. Where? No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. It'll, you'll kill okay. yourself. I'm gonna. I need I'm to get. Can you get me up there? Can you get yourself up there? Not without losing my portal. I need to keep my portal. What? I need to keep my portals. Oh. There and there. Okay then. Yeah, I guess you can replace that. Here, put... Oh, where's your other one? Okay. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Um... Well, I guess... No, that's not gonna work. Wait, what's done here? What's done here? Oh, God. Fucking <laughs> Inception. Hurrah! <laughs> 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 I know, I know how to get up there. Here, shoot one portal down here for me, and then one up there. I can't. Come down from there, son. You don't need to be up there. I need to be up there. Okay. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> you, okay. Hey! Why did you do that? Uh, one up there now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, oh, God. No, fuck. Okay. So, so, okay, okay, before I go up there, what you need to do is you need to put the laser to reverse this thing when I get at the bottom here, okay? What? So, so you put the laser so it reverses the portal, so that way when I get to the bottom here, I press this button which it drops a cube from there, and then I catch the cube and go reverse way through the portal. Does that make sense? Sure! Why not? Let me get up there. Oh, I need one here. Okay, all on you now. Nope, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. You said to do it. Not until I get to the bottom over here. Oh. See where the... No. Very confused. Okay, right now, right now, right now, right now. Oh, God. See, now I got a little... Oh! <laughs> Teamwork. Ladies and girls. Okay. I right, kill turrets. Kill the turrets! I was placed out there for now. We need to get the ball. Uh. How did you get over there? I know what I need to do. Wait. Wait. Yeah, what do you need to do, Biatch? 
wait. Ah! You see what you need to do? No. One here. Yeah, there you go. You got this. I can't move up. Ah, there we go. Got it. Got it. We're good. You wanna touch my laser? Hmm. Oh wait, and then I do this. I gotcha. Dude, we said he's got me. Sucker tried to play me. Oh wait, is this gonna work? It fucking better. Okay. Oh, oh God, that's not what I wanted. Uh, uh, uh. Oh wait. Seconds. This is fun, Dewey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm amused by the simplest of things. <laughs> oh, and then I need the ball. Oh, but I'm stuck over here now. Oh God. Um. Okay. There. Yeah, you can't. There. There we go. Hey, quit thinking. That yeah, all ow. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this needs <clears throat> to be activated at once. Well, fuck me in the ass. How do we do that? Well, we get some lube. Okay, <laughs> uh. <laughs> so that will lower that to the ground, so we can Good. go stand on there. I'm ready. But no, I need this to. Well, I know you're ready, but I can't <laughs> get up there. So I'll portal you up here. You can't. Yes, I can. How? Uh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> the gathering? <laughs> yeah. Um. Obviously, it involves some sort of teamwork. I figured it out. I don't believe you. You've played this game before. That doesn't work, do it, because then the second platform rises. Look at that. Look at what? Now I'll let you figure out how to finish this. <laughs> I did one part. Oh, look at that, man. Come here, bitch. Look at that, man. So we do in the hood, G. Okay, killing machine. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Actually, don't. I'll save you the trouble. It's still Marshmallow. Why are you counting down? I don't. I wait, always wait. think the hotkey for that is the hotkey for the emotes. <laughs> Damn, that's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at who's got the pa faster PC skills, Ray Siegel. Oh shit, Yeah, but son. can you... <laughs> laugh? Can I? Come here, yeah. come here, 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 come here. Come closer. Aww, I got a hug! You so cute! Okay, I'll go back in your hole. <laughs> Dewey, you are the tits, apparently. Is that a compliment? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Ow. Stefan's watching the live stream. He just texted me and said lube is for penises. That if you scream at a marshmallow, all you get is a scared marshmallow. So let's try oh positive. <laughs> I am positive these reassembly machines will break down again soon. Probably while you're in them. Think about that. Oh my god, stop texting me. I can't read I your first either, message. Of course, but I'm not trying to permanently kill you. It's a benevolent indifference. Dad ate my Chex Mix. Oh, dick. Alright. Why would Dad eat someone's Chex Mix? 
because he likes Chex Mex. What are you doing over here, son? I'm painting. Don't ask me questions, woman. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing shit. <laughs> oh, look, some turrets. Oh, some turrets. <gasps> oh, do it! One of these things. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, can I get? I can't get to it. Oh. <laughs> I even seem very, very excited about something. Uh. Ooh. How'd you do that? Ah! <laughs> yeah, I figured this one out. Oh god. Um. <laughs> oh no. Come back. Come back over here. Okay, come back over where I am and then run down. And wait, 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 wait. Wait, you'll. Oh god. <laughs> You'll have a surprise waiting for you at the end. Okay? You ready? Go ahead. No, go ahead. You failed. You're the one who did it! You didn't go through it straight. <laughs> Does that work? No. You're supposed to run all the way. And all the way, all the way. Do you see what you need to do? No! You're supposed to make it over there, but you're not making it over there. Yeah, well why aren't I making it over there? Well, oh, maybe it's because I don't have this draped all the way across like I'm supposed to. <laughs> we'll see, hold on, let this maybe do you it. Should fix that. Let this unload its load. There we go. Now oh, it should be better. Okay, can I try it now? Yep. I did it! Sexually! If I was like a horse in Skyrim, I could climb this motherfucking thing. What does this button do? Oh. Okay, raise me up! Now what? <laughs> Seriously, now what? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember this far into the DLC. Well, I've not played the DLC ever, so I know less. Huh? What? What? Okay. Como? Oh, See? okay. Oh, what is, I can... That's not really helpful. What? Do it, you can shoot this one now. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? That's all that's as far as I got. <laughs> you can can you shoot down to the the puddles of crap? No, I can't I can't reach those. Hmm. You sure? One hundred percent positive. Oh wait, I can go farther over this way. Not that much farther though. <laughs> oh, oh, my can ass I go is down starting there? to hurt from sitting down. Hey, hey, I was. Oh god. Oh god, I didn't want to jump. That's I don't want to jump. It keeps texting me. Okay, um, undo the things. What thing? The the block. The a big block. glass thing that prevents me from shooting things. Oh. What color what do you want? Uh, red, I guess. What? No, you want blue, probably. Okay, sure. That didn't help much. Wait! Yeah, try it that way. You gotta bring the block down, though. Oh, I can't very well do that now, can I? Oh wait, I can. No, because then I can't reach that. I don't know! My brain hurts. 
<laughs> uh, Aww, I saw Dewey for a moment. Um, I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> um. Dewey, you got your stains everywhere. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, 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 you know, you, you can use it, to, oh, let me lower you back down. You can, so I have things shooting over there, right? So you can use it when they land there, and then you can direct it over there, or put it down there if you want. Okay. Oh! It didn't work. Put it there. I... Try now! Try now! Oh, hold on. We'll do that again. Um, <sighs> okay. Alright. Now what? Uh, now I need to send this to you. Okay. So... How I do that, I don't know. Well, you need to go back to undo the... Butt sex? Yeah. Undo that glass spasm thing in my chair. Oh, you want that down, don't you? Si, sí, senorita. Okay, now what do I need to do? I gotta do this. Yeah, and then... I somehow need to make this over there. I don't know how to do that. Um, I want french fries. Can you put something there? Here? No, here. Can you see that? No! Um... Um... <laughs> I want french fries. Maybe this? Now I can go over there. Will that help? Sure. Why the fuck not? French toast sticks. Okay. Hi, Dewey. So now you, you stand on the button. Stand on the button. I stand on your button. And by button, I mean, well, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm like out of ideas. My brain hurts too. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's late, give us a break. <laughs> exactly. Um, figure this out once. Something tells me that's not gonna make a difference. <laughs> it might if I break the button. Wait, what? Yeah, if I break the button. You fail. I could have jumped over this myself. I tried. It did not work for me. Oh, yes, it did. Um, so I don't know, we I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, oh, my PC broke. <laughs> what? Okay, we're good. <laughs> my PC spasmed. Hey, you go out there and see if you can figure out something. What's this wall for? I don't know. Well, I don't think it's just a useless wall of uselessness. Could be. Let's see. <laughs> like the laser is up there. Mm hmm. So we need to get up there. How? Um... Ah! I figured it out! Holy shit! Don't move anything! Ah, fuck. I need to put... We need a... We need a... We need a button here. And then a button... And then a portal here. Can you shoot one up there? Nope. There's glass in the way.
I got it. 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 Nope. No, I don't. <laughs> Can All you right. come back over to this side through a red portal? Yes. Come back. Right now? Yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, here is a space. Mm -hmm. Here is also a space with a bounty on it. So we need a portal there. So that I can go... Whoosh. You need a portal there and there? Hold on, I'm trying there something right now. There and there? That did not work. Uh, ow. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> um, Is he gonna die? Wait, I'm, I still. might have something that might work. Okay, wait, so... Need a button there and there? Yeah, there we go. What? How does that help? Uh, so now you can get back over here. Oh, and then I stand on here. What? Hmm. Need another cube. Cause you can get up there now. Oh. Oh, I can't. Yeah, you can. Cause if you. If you go through there, jump through there, you'll land through there, and then go through. Yeah, I'll do what? What? Where did you go? I'm right behind you. Oh, why couldn't you get up there? Because it doesn't go that far. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. I'm telling you, Dewey, it does not go that far. It does. Dewey? You're just doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong, huh? Okay, ready? I'm going to run at it as fast as I can. Ready? Uh-huh. Run, 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 run. Why'd you land there? Because that's Those where it incorrect. lands. I oh, hear. I got. I got it. No, come back up. Come back up. Fool. Come back, you say? Yeah. Why am I being called? Hold on. Yes. Why? Oh, hold on. Raymond, okay. What? Here, you need to shoot another portal on the blue stuff over there. Confused. Why did I come over here then? Huh? Yeah, no, okay, so now put, yeah. Okay. I can hear myself in the phone. Let's, no, what did you do? What did you do? Is that right? I don't think that's right. I think you did no, it wrong. No, it's not right. Put your portal there. Where? There. And on there. the blue. Yeah, and on blue. Not right. On the blue. On the blue gooey stuff. Oh! My bad. My bad. So then when you jump over here... It... Nope. That's wrong. Gooey <laughs> thinks he knows what he's doing. I don't know. Hold on. I'm supposed to read my last, last text. This is going to be long and complicated, and I'm not going to know at all what I'm doing. So yeah, this is how I played through Portal. I made like 18 mistakes. You guys need to use Red Goo and I and get Speed Boost so you can get a man the Emancipation Grid Cafe so you can so you can cause he the blue goo to this <laughs> I'm sure this makes sense and I'm reading it wrong but it doesn't make sense to me god damn it. so that's snipey what is that supposed to mean okay so how do we get there to jump there You can't do that, Dewey. Yeah, huh? No. See, I just you did can't. it. I just did it. Did what? It's over there. See my portal? It's over there. Yeah, where is it now? 
Wait. Wait, what? Well, I can see me from here. Hi, me. <laughs> uh. Uh. Go through it. What's the worst that can happen? I put a yellow one over on this side. Uh, no, I figure out what I need to do. I need to get back over there. I need uh, totally figure out what I need to do. <coughs> Here, not a clue. My brain. Here, stand on that. Stand. No, you stand on it. No, get wait. You have to get me out. No, I stand. Yeah, you're right. I stand on it. Now get me out of here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. What color is this? So I need that to be red. Can you? Yeah, come come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out. And come up here. I'll stand on this thing. Give me that. Haha! -ha. I figured it out. My brain is all full of no. Oh, I know what those things are for now. Okay, I'm just gonna trust that I don't have to come back in here again. Yeah, there you go. Murder Yay. the robots! You failed aim, Jesus. I was killing the robots. Okay, we I'm win. Dead. Um, no, because we don't know how to get up there now. Oh fuck! Oops. Dude, this one's got to be you. Where? You gotta put something here. I'm guessing. Okay. Oh wait, go, 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 go. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We got the shit. No, I figured it out. I figured it out. See? Now you jump. The Eve's disassembly machines look even worse than the others. If I we don't see you on the other side, thanks for nothing. My brain is full of no. Yay! I hear somebody in your house. That was my other sister. The one Emily Bibiana! She can't hear you. Aww. <laughs> oh, she heard Bibiana. I know she heard Bibiana because I heard her say she heard Bibiana. Heard. She's pressing us hard. Sarah texted it took me. me. Three days to reassemble you this time. That's scary. I won't oh, be able to oh, do it again. Oh. I plan to put you through more tests to toughen you up. But now that I can't rebuild you, we're going to have to switch to the accelerator program. I hereby pronounce you <laughs> killing machines. Congratulations. This is as close as I could get you. The prototype chassis was all of that if you want. Chamber. I didn't read all of it. Because <laughs> you're a bad brother. Hello? Where's Wheatley? Where's Wheatley? I know what this needs to do. We need blue go. I don't want to know what to do yet. I'm still figuring shit out, man. I we need blue goo. I don't know how we do it, but we need blue goo. Oh god. Figured it out. Ah, ah. And Ray Siegel and shit. Emily Dewey's awesome. No, she's not. What are you doing, child? Emily and Sarah are awesome because they're girls. And oh my god, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I am so drunk, guys. What are you? Yellow wheel. Sarah is not awesome. Do I need the blue stuff anywhere else? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to do that because if I get off this button, the blue stuff stops. We need a cube! We need this cube! Yeah, I know. So we need to put the... 
We need to put the blue here so the blue goes up to the cube and the cube bounces all over the place and dies. Or, and then kills the glass on the side here. How does that work? Because if the blue, if the cube touches blue, then it'll start bouncing uncontrollably. Right, right. I played portals. Okay, I know. How do I get in here? How the fuck do I get in there? What? Where are you? I don't even. Um, what does this button do? Oh. It makes it that color. Perfect. Don't move a muscle. Okay. Raven. Okay, now I got that one. And then... That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think I need to somehow transfer it out of this area. Somehow. Oh, I'm doing my part. Oh wait, I probably do that. Do what? And then I do that. That makes brain sense to me. Hold on. What's up here? Nothing's up here. What the fuck? Oh wait. No. Ah, bouncing. <laughs> we're a wee bit child. We're a wee bit child tokes. I think I had it right, but I don't want to do after that. Bloody women. Uh, how far can I take this? Oh my goodness. <sighs> what is that doing? <laughs> Inception. Inception. Somebody help my brain. Cause this shit's driving me insane. Yo, I got ho. No the mo. roof with the fence is on fire. The roof, the roof, the roof I'm gonna is on get some fire. Fries. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh God. Um. K stream. We need to figure this out before he gets back. Um. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh. People are texting me. Did you figure it out while I was gone? I did not. I made that my goal, but I failed. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, uh, wait. I'm not. What? I've come closer to figuring it out. Doing what he calls a brain. Okay. Um. And yeah, now what? I got an idea. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Ready? How do Ready? You know? Now go in there. Go in where? Go in through your... See, now you're it. in there and it's an infinite loop of <laughs> fucking worthlessness. <laughs> No, maybe not. Wait. Okay, what color do I need to use? Red. You figured it out, Raymond. You. I'm a fucking genius! Fuck shit up! <laughs> <laughs> what did you. What happened? Okay, now you go out there. Where? Maybe. So that's being dropped there. Oh, see, okay, so it's being dropped there. So you need to take it there and then put it there. 
But that means someone needs to be pressing on that button. You can just walk out, I think. Can you get in there? Without Yeah, but if I do it's gonna go womp. Is See? there another way you can get in there? No, it's the only way. Are you sure? <laughs> Can you not, like, use the ceiling anyway? I'm looking. Oh, yeah, now you can bounce over the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do in the hood. With all my gangsters and cheese and stuff. And, uh... Uh-oh, I fucked up. <laughs> God damn it. I think this one might be the last puzzle because I think we're both very tired. I'm I'm tired, but I'm not be going anywhere. <laughs> oh no! It's Where crazy. It? It's over here. <laughs> ah ah! Got it. And then I murdered it. Uh, it's back. And it's all blue. Dabba I think I need to stay over here. I'm not sure. <laughs> Go Q. Got it. Okay. Are you going up that way? I don't know. I just see a hole that, that is like cube shaped. No. I'll, I think you need to go up these stairs somewhere. Do we know? There's a fence of fenciness. Okay. Does that make it go away? Yes, it makes the cube go away. No, no, no. Fine, I'm... Okay, we figured that out somehow, so... Okay, I'm coming out. Come back here, cube! No, cube! Oh my god, more puzzles. Ah! Where the cube... Oh, cube likes to die a lot. I think this cube is suicidal. <laughs> what if I stand on this? Oh, there, I got it to disappear. Find ah, the, get the cube. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah, 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 it's breaking more glass. <laughs> it's like every time you disappear from screen, shit starts breaking. <laughs> there we go, I got it. How'd you do that? I stand ah, on this button. Oh, God. Ooh, I'm trying to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to catch the box, but it's not working. Come here, got it, got it. <laughs> Just okay, jump up it. here yourself. Jesus, don't throw the ball up here. Or the cube. Oh god, okay. Now I don't know what we do with it. Oh, can we somehow set it and oh, we need to wash it off up there, I think, maybe? Oh, wait. Yes, that is what we need to do. Uh, I'm not letting go of this thing. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Um, you might have to. Oh god, ow. Wait, what does this do? Okay. I almost made it up there. Huh. You think that? I don't know if that's actually working. Let's we'll see. Sorry, were you saying something to me? I went to go get french oh. fries. Oh, wait. Can you. You're gonna have to, like, go to the cube. But. Go to the cube. In the hole? Yeah, yeah, I'll just, like, go. I don't know. No, but okay. Um, put someone. Okay, so you're gonna put one up there. When I jump through. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm gonna jump through, and you need to make it so I get from there to there. Okay. See. What? I'm gonna see. I jump out of my little red hole up here. See. See. 
Look, look at me. No. Oh, okay. And then I land on the floor wherever you shoot, and then you need to put the thing way over there so I jump through. Okay? Got it. Done. Okay. You need to put the, put the hole there. Oh, God. Damn. Hold on. We got this. I got this. And then what does this do? I think the cube died again. How the fuck do we get the cube up here? Um, magic. Oh wait, stand on. No. Step. I'm gone. I'm hot. Hmm. I got an idea. Stand on that. Will that do anything? No, that doesn't. No. Disable this. Blue, 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 water. Um, okay, we figured is that there out. No, is there no way you can shoot a portal up there and then outside of the thingy? I didn't see a way. <coughs> hmm. Oh, what is this? Maybe we need to do. Oh, I bet you. What does that do? Oh, we need the know, cube. I'll grab a cube and find out. <laughs> How did it get in there? You go grab the cube, because it died. Yeah, it's gonna die again. Cube, come. Cube, no. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> it came by itself. I'm charging my laser! So if I block this, what does it do? Uh... That. Okay, go up there. I can't. Yes, you can. There you go. I'm not thinking with portals, do we? Okay, now you're up, so now you're gonna get some distance when you fall down. Uh. Can you go in that? Like, use that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're up there. Oh, wait, okay. So then. Put me up there. You got this. Okay. Holy shit, we're fucking geniuses. Oh, no, we're not. Yeah, we are. I don't think this is gonna work. No, because we don't have this thing figured out yet. Fuck that, we got to the door. Fuck you, GLaDOS! <laughs> We've made it here! So we need Fuck a you! How do we wash it off? If it goes through the field, it'll disintegrate. Yeah, I know. How do we wash so it off? So how do we get the shield to die? Maybe it's a special shield that doesn't kill toasters or boxes? I'm thinking that's not true. We can try, though. Oh, make the water go through the portal, do we? Oh, herp derp. Oh god. No. Hold on. Okay, put another one up there. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, do you have the ball thing? Nope. Go get the ball. Go get, get the ball. Go get, get the ball. Go get the ball, boy. Go get it. Oh, it, ball, died. it just died. <laughs> it's a box, not a ball, you idiot. Wait, then what? How do, we, how do you get through the door? I don't know. Crap. So I need to let you through the door. Uh, um. <laughs> I got the cube. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Um. <laughs> Watching Raymond fail jumping up here. Here, take this for a second. Okay. So then, I need to get up there. I think I can get up there possibly by myself. Can. I can? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Block the. Block the entrance? Yeah, that thing? Okay. So I can get up here, but then I don't have a way of getting down. 
Can you create a portal from there to here quick? Here, here, let me hold the cube for you. Okay, let's create a portal from there to there. What? On the ground, portal on the ground, portal up there. And I'll take the cube from you. Okay, let me go up. There we go. Give me water! Wait, I'm a robot. That's bad. Water is bad for a robot. I got it! Okay, now we just need to... Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. We need this cube still, don't we? No! Yeah, I think we do. Damn it. Ah, I understand what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. I get it. And you, you got it? Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Okay, let me go first, or else we're both gonna fuck up. We're fucking geniuses and shit. Yeah, we know what we're doing. The prototype chassis room is just down this hallway. Remember your training. You are killed. If you turn the lights off, night oh. vision, night vision. <laughs> Your move, mystery one. If you turn the lights back on, night vision off, night vision off. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, now what? Okay, that oh. that's gonna be our last little thing for tonight. Aww. Because Raymond's going to go to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna go to sleep on this. I'm gonna play time. Mass Effect, and if you guys wanna watch me, I'll live stream it, but you have to tell me you wanna watch me play Mass Effect right now. <laughs> Otherwise, fuck you guys. Um that there we go. So yeah, thank you guys for watching me and Raymond play. This is the meeting. How do I save my game? It auto saves. Oh. I um, see. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, apparently, Raymond may stream Mass Effect, so if you want to watch him, I do have that. to. I have to get fraps, though. I don't have fraps. Oh, wait. Are you gonna record it? No. Then you don't need fraps. I don't need fraps. Fuck fraps. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play some Mass Effect, oh the God. first one. Okay. And then. Oh no, my father was watching me. Oh, uh, hi, Dewey's dad. How's Germany? Doubt he's still here. He probably went to work. No, it's Saturday. Fuck. I mean, I didn't swear. Never mind. Have fun in Germany. Do his dad <laughs> of dadness. I don't remember his name. Is that? Did you ever tell me your dad's name? John. I remember it. Got it. Yeah. Don't name. Drew also, over. his social security number is. <laughs> 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 yeah, <You> jerk. <laughs> My bad. All right. I'll play some Mass Effect then, I guess. Okay, well, thank you guys. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Hey guys, uh, actually, if you want to stay tuned, Raymond, if you just stay on the stream, Raymond will be taking over the stream and playing Mass Effect on that. So if you want to stay on, then go ahead and do that so Raymond can do that.
Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, refresh your video. Okay, okay. Uh, so Ray is here now. That's me, by the way. And um, as you can see here, and messing around with stuff, I'm going to be playing Mass Effect. Uh, you guys can stick around if you want to, because uh, right now Mass Effect is currently downloading. I have not downloaded Mass Effect onto this computer. Uh, the reason why I'm going to be doing Mass Effect is simply because I'm going to be doing the walkthrough for Mass Effect 3. And um, doing that walkthrough for Mass Effect 3, I'm going to want to play Mass Effect 1 and 2. Uh, if you want to know why I've never played Mass Effect 1 and 2, it's because Mass Effect came out. I bought it, or I got it for a Christmas present, I think, actually, if I think about it. And um, basically, I played through up to the Citadel, got bored in the Citadel, quit playing. Then about three or four months ago, I picked it up again said I'm going to give this a shot and then uh, I got past the Citadel was like okay I'm getting into this and I got up and then but the first world that I decided to go to was like the hardest planet available so I died a lot and I said fuck this and I quit playing again because <laughs> I didn't want to go back and have to replay everything uh, but now I'm going to do uh, the third spot uh, so yeah <laughs> going to try Mass Effect again for the third time. Hopefully the uh, game will cooperate with me and I won't make such stupid decisions. And I figured I'm going to be playing the game, so why not live stream it and show you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing. So uh, if there was an echo, I, I had the audio coming through my computer, so the echo should be gone. Do I, who do you like from Portal? GLaDOS, Cave, Johnson, and Wheatley? Yes, all of them. That's a good question because all of them would be the answer. Um, so while we wait for Mass Effect to download, uh, why not? Got an idea. Since we're waiting for Mass Effect to download, let's... Who wants to play to play some roller coaster tycoon? Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Wow, that is loud. That is loud in my ears. We're going to play some roller coaster tycoon in the meantime. Alright? I love roller coaster tycoon, so if you don't like roller coaster tycoon, then I can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> We're waiting for the game to download. So, what can I do? Uh, do you guys not see the game? Can you guys not see the game? Oh, shit. I don't know if you guys can see the game or not. Ugh, what resolution is this? Why did my resolution change? My resolution changed, sorry. Okay, um, on my screen you guys can't see the game, so I'm going to assume that on your screen you, you can uh, not see the game. That makes me very sad. Give me one second. Give me one second. Options. Uh, there we go. Okay, you guys can hear me still? I think I broke the computer. Um, sorry, I'm having issues here. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon does not play well. well. Oh, Dewey just informed me I can't play full screen. Nor can I do anything else at the moment. <laughs> I think I've broken it. I've successfully broken the Macintosh computer. Uh, Control-Alt-Delete. 
Task Manager. Let's see. Do 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 do. There we go. You guys can see everything, right? Everything's good. Full to make sure everything's good. Okay. Let's. Oh boy. Dewey has informed me I cannot play full screen. Uh, oh my god, Mass Effect just like... Steam just died on me. Look at the weird color Steam is right now. Don't adjust your TV sets, boys and girls. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm going to have to... Sorry, I can't... Oh my god. Okay, well, I'll just ignore that for now. I'll let the game continue to download. But in the meantime... Dewey, Dewey's still typing to me. Look at him type. Look at that little, look at that little thing right there. Oh boy. <laughs> um, you can only see the little portion of my screen. What the hell is going on? I'm having issues here, boys and girls and ladies. Gentlemen, having issues. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is I have not I've, again not really used to this whole thing. Oh God, is that better? Let's see. Hopefully, this is better. I'm not used to this program. So, give me a moment. Oh, fuck! Oh, I did it again! I'm breaking everything. So everything is being broken. Just everything. <laughs> this is why we don't, this is why we can't have nice things, basically. Okay, let's try this. Dewey's typing to me. Oh, okay. I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the fun of learning new programs, boys and girls. Alright, so Mass Effect is downloading still. It's at 27%. We're going to play us some uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon in the meantime. Pass the time. I hope Roller Coaster Tycoon is still downloading. It's still at it's still at 27%. There it goes. Okay, we'll up to 28%. Okay. So this is my theme park at the moment. Currently researching roller coasters. Get rid of the screenception. I don't know where the screenception is. Okay. Get rid of your mom's screenception. Okay. Oh, you guys are looking at my Skype name. Quit that, you jerks. Hold on. I can't even select Skype right now. What the hell is going on with my computer? You guys are big meanies taking taking advantage of my unable to know how to do anything. <laughs> I'm not a PC user, okay? I can't play any of the games that are in the library on Steam. You gotta understand that right now none of those games are downloaded onto this computer. Okay? That's why I'm downloading Mass Effect instead of just playing Mass Effect. I gotta get it. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Uh, so, Roller Coaster Tycoon is my favorite PC game of all time. Uh, PC game. There are people who aren't going to pay that much to ride Zach Felling. 
So let's come down here and lower that price down to 50 cents. Stanky Booty was great. Slide one also, people aren't paying for that. We'll just make it 10 cents, call it a day. Uh, okay. So they're happy. They're building me another roller coaster. I really hope it's the steel roller coaster. Uh, my goal right now, Dewey Carts has broke down. My goal right now is to get 650 guests and a rating of 600 by the end of year three. August year one, I have 466 guests, and my rating is at 865. So I've got this basically in the bag. Um, so yeah, this is Roller Coaster Tycoon, by the way, in case you're wondering. I see that in the questions. So Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's an old ass game. If you don't know what it is, go find it. Go buy it. Play the hell out of it. All right. Let's see ya. Um, yeah, so right now I've already done a lot of work, uh, built, built rides and stuff of that nature. So I'm kind of just waiting for the next ride to be built, roller coaster, and they're, they're, they're working on it. Hopefully it's the roller coaster I want them to work on. If anybody, uh, yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon is my favorite PC game, what you got? Fart. Ah, eh, lol. Okay, let's see here. Standing in line. The Dewey Carts. Huh. Alright. I think Dewey Carts needs some music. So. Can't add music to Dewey's. Dewey tells me that my screen is small. I can't do anything about that. That's the biggest roller coaster tycoon will let me go. Ah, here we go. Dewey needs some fantasy fantasy style music because he's. Oh, that sounds horrible. No. Space. Okay. Dewey says my screen is small, but I, what what else can I do? Still waiting on this. Yes, steel corkscrew. That'll work. That will work. Little rides and uh, shops and stalls. All right. This this theme park is in the middle of a desert, by the way. Uh, if you've never played, Mass Effect is downloading right over here. See this area, Mass Effect 3, 30 or Mass Effect. Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect, 33% downloading. Alright, that's where Mass Effect is. Um, my volume is loud. Sorry about that, let me move the microphone a little away from my voice. Dewey's crying? Why is Dewey crying? Welcome to finish building this roller coaster so I can have shit be off the chizane, homie. Word and stuff. Dog. What can I build right now? Anything worth it? No. I've built everything there is to build that's worth anything right now. And I've probably built some things that aren't worth anything. These guys want to go on something more thrilling than Zach Felling. 
Everyone should tell Zack that no one wants to ride him. Yay, we get a new roller coaster. Let's hope it's good. What we'll do is we will save. Overwrite that save. Build it. Six and entrance and an exit. I have the best value park in the country. Dewey is skyping me like mad crazy, yo. One, two, three. How oh, can I not do it that way? Ah, that ride. Okay, screw this, we're not building it here. We're going to build it here. Alright, build it and they will come. That wasn't even sexual. One, one, two, three. Although I had one, two, three there and then went there, so four. So I'll build it right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll build this motherfucking park to the left, to the left. There we go. And that can go this way, and it can go all the way up to Oblivion. That was not a reference to Skyrim. Alright, we'll be done with that. And let's to go power launch mode start it off at 51 miles an hour and put it into test mode and we'll see what we got go bitch Woo! alright now the whole reason I'm doing this is to see the results Ugh. I didn't we, Dewey and I have been live streaming for the last like Two hours. We were playing Portal 2, and I guess I could have had Mass Effect downloading during that time, but I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so this roller coaster is also absolutely worthless. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, Dewey's going to sleep to the sound of my voice. That's kind of creepy. What? So, this roller coaster's crap. Ah, damn it. Load. Don't save. This sucks. Trust me, guys. I want to be playing roller coaster. I want to be. I want to be playing Mass Effect as well. But at the moment, I'm waiting for it to download. I'm sorry. Okay. Very sorry. If I. Ah, damn it. Five O. -oh. Still might work. Sweet. We'll charge 250 for this ride. Okay, 250. 250. Again, I will be starting the Mass Effect uh, as soon as it's done downloading for those of you who have maybe just joined the stream. I'm not sure how many people are actually watching this. Uh, in fact, let me figure that out real quick. Because <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are kind of like, what the fuck is going on, Ray? This is supposed to be Mass Effect, not uh, Ray plays Roller Coaster Tycoon on a tiny little screen. And uh, yeah, so let's see. There are 129 of you watching me play Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's 
Uh, very interesting. To say the least. Let's see here. We're gonna build us a little path here. We can build some paths and shit. Yo! Dog! Homie! Uh, I got big plans for this ride, so let's hope that it's as popular as I hope it is. Gonna put that there. Of course, I gotta lower the land here, because land is all janky. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Get 10 minutes. And. It's powered launch mode, really. Interesting. We need to assign one of these douchebags. Also known as a mechanic. So that's where you go, sir. And we'll get a handyman. Apply a footpath for him. And set him down there. Why aren't people going on the ride? Benches. Come on, people, get on the ride. Get on the ride. Okay. Hey, get my escape name off of this thing. Put my Skype name on there again, I ban you. I will ban your ass like a person that gets banned and shit. I will not play Happy Wheels. Uh, Mass Effect is currently at 45% download. So that's what that's at. Uh, please give me my roller coaster that I want. I would love you, game. You just give me that. I feel sick. Thank you, booty was great. Swinging ship was great. Alright. Uh, I'm I am old as hell. Um because uh that's why I like old games like this. No, I'm not I'm not Playing Roller Coaster Tycoon instead of Mass Effect, I'm waiting for Mass Effect to download and decided I was gonna play some Mass Effect or some Roller Coaster Tycoon in the meantime. Okay, that's all. So chill, just chill. Okay, you gotta give me some give me some breathing room here. Okay, it's, it's almost halfway done. Okay, the game is Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, I know it's kind of on a tiny screen, but that's because the program I'm using won't allow me to live stream this game in full screen. So I, I apologize for that. I do. Um. You guys want me to play something more entertaining? You guys put up a suggestion that you want me to play, and I'll try to find it on the internet and play it. So a flash game only, because otherwise we're going to sit here and wait for another game to download, and that's not going to work, okay? I love Roller Coaster Tycoon, and you guys are going to make me cry. Okay? Why don't I play Sim Theme Park? Because fuck Sim Theme Park, Roller Coaster Tycoon, 
is just, it just owns whatever the hell other shitty theme park games are out there, okay? I'm not gonna play porn, okay? I'm not gonna play porn. I'm not gonna do it. Happy Wheels. Why? What? What is people's obsession with Happy Wheels? I'll play it. I'll play Happy Wheels. I just, I just don't understand the, the, the interest in it. All right. You guys want some Happy Wheels? Come on. Ugh, Windows, how I hate you. This, kids, is why I use Macintosh. It's not Windows computers. Oh, boy. Ooh, Facebook. <laughs> okay. Uh, Happy Wheels. Is this it? Did I find it? Okay. It's loading. It's it's trying to load Happy Wheels while simultaneously downloading Mass Effect. I can't play Just Cause 2 because Just Cause 2 is not downloaded to the computer. Okay? Okay? Thanks. I'm not going to accept your request because I don't know you. Uh, some people might call me a dick for that, but yeah, I don't I don't accept friend requests or Skype contacts from people that I don't know. So that's that's that. Call me what you want. Holy crap, that is loud. Give me give me volume down. I'm gonna mute the sound. Okay. Well, I don't want to mute that much. Jeez, this is like, it's really either really super loud or just nothing at all. De the demo, I guess. Obstacle course? Sure, why not? I'm going to select, I got to select the, the dude with the kid. So, here we go, Happy Wheels, for all you people. That's not how you play a video game. How do I go forwards? The hell? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. So. I have no idea how to play Happy Wheels. Okay, you guys are getting my first time playing Happy Wheels. <laughs> what is going on? I can't. I can't do anything. Oh, that's how I accelerate. I get it. Um, how do I? Oh God! What do I do? Tell me what to do. My kid is just freaking out in his car seat now, and I don't know how to help him. What the fuck? I see the controls now, but how do I? Uh, Uh, <laughs> I've never played Happy Wheels, no. Let's see, how do I get out of this? Escape. Yeah, escape button works. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm learning. It's a learning process. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whee! Oh, shit. Kid, watch your head. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Come on, we got this, we got this. Yeah, but, oh shit, oh, ah, ah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think my kid's missing a foot, oh god, oh god, no. Oh fuck. Ah, ah, come on, come on. What's the jump button? What's the jump button? <laughs> I don't want to die. Okay, we're going to die. 
Okay, yep, there we go. <laughs> oh god. Oh god! I'm still alive! I'm still alive! I'm... Oh god! My kid is dead! They murdered my only child! <laughs> ah! Okay, I now understand why you guys like to watch Happy Wheels. Because <laughs> this is just entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's just get across here and yeah, bump this down and then you jump out. Ah, doodle jump. Okay. Oh, I'm already breaking my neck. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, oh god. Mommy, this kid's gonna die. <laughs> no! Wait for me! Wait for me! <laughs> now what do I do? Oh god, I forgot the buttons. Uh. Well, we're gonna do it this way. Ready? Uh, nope. That did not help. Uh, at least I can send the kid to his death. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I can't. I don't even. I don't even know what I'm doing here. All right. Happy wheels. Happy wheels. Everybody's happy when they're on wheels. That's my new song. I'm fucking a lyrical genius and shit. All right, here we go. Bounce. Flip. Yeah. Fuck trials HD. I got happy wheels. Oh god. Oh no! No! Oh my kid just got his fucking head broken. Oh, here we go. Just kill him. <laughs> just. Oh, that's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Restart this again. Uh, Mass Effect is at 58% downloading. Okay. Thanks for sticking in here. <laughs> Watching me murder a father and his child. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. We got this. We got this. Come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think he's missing some teeth now. Alright. Here we go. Just bump us up there. No big deal. Just take it slowly on these stairs. Bump into there. Yeah. yeah we got this. We got this. Okay. Let's go fast. Just go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. No. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, God. No. The spikes. No. Oh my god. This, this, this is just, this is just sick. I'm going to try a new board. Uh, Gus, Gut Bus Extreme. I have to, I like using these guys, okay, because he has a kid. He's got a child with him. What does those, what do those do? Yeah. Fuck you, kid. Oh. Oh, I missed the bus. What the hell? I don't know what just happened there. But he's being steamrolled, so. Let's try this again. Alright. Get in here, kid. It's been nice knowing you. We're gonna lay flat. There we go. And we Off we go. Abandoning my child. Oh my god, oh god, no, stay in the stay in the bus! Stay in the bus! I'm safe here! They can't hurt me! Oh, good lord. Alright, let's try this again. Come on, come on. Oh god, I can't! We gotta change characters, because this guy... He isn't working out. So we're gonna use... Well, nobody likes the guy on the Segway, so... Get off your Segway! <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do this. He he is like a bus, literally. Check him out. He's like, I don't give a shit. I get in this like crazy, yo. Oh, sh oh, oh, yeah. What? Oh, I think I messed it up. Come on, we got this. We got this. 
I just need to get the bus back on its feet. Like, on, uh, well, on its wheels, I guess. Come on, Segway man. Ah, ah. Who made this game? They're dumb, stupid people. Let's use the fat lady. I've seen Zach play this level with the fat lady. So. Oh, she's only available in the full version. I don't know what the fuck that means. So, whatever. Get out of your stupid thing, old man. There we go. There we go. Now get in the back. Back to the back of the bus with you. Now I want to get you to the front of the bus because you have less chance of flying outside of the bus in that case. There we go. There we go. So far, the old man is the best. He is. He's got the skills. He's going to lose a leg in a moment, but... That's okay. Oh, come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. Victory. Every limb intact. Holy crap. All right. Um, exit to the menu. BMX park. Yeah. To the BMX. To the park. To the park of the BMX. Park with a park with a BMX. Yo, I'm dad. I don't know how to jump, but I'm really rad. Whoa, 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 oh, 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 shit, son! Oh no, 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 no! My kid, my kid is dead. I will continue for you, son. For you, I will continue. Oh, guys, a minefield! Oh shit! Super Meat Boy's got nothing on me. Yeah, victory! Oh, holy crap. Oh, Mass Effect is downloading. Okay, promise. Promise, it's at 64% right now. That was fun. Snowy Mountain Final. The fuck? Uh, Z. Oh, that one failed. Uh... Restart. Okay, restart again. I gotta hit Z and then space. So that's easy. Alright, here we go. What? Damn it. Grab onto the thing! I don't know what to do here. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, there, I got my head jammed in there. That'll work. Here we go. Oh, come on! Come on! Ah! This is, this is not working. Somebody help a brother out here. Help a bro. Bro fist it. Bro fist it. Bro fist <sighs> I'm holding space. And then he doesn't grab onto it. It's not my fault. He won't hold onto it. It's not my fault. Okay, I'm holding space. And he's just like, you know what I'd rather do? Not hold space. And then, ah, okay. Well, that was exciting. Go up, up. Come on. He won't hold on to it, so fuck that shit too. All right, I tried. Oh shit! I just blew up a zombie. Go speed racer, go, go speed racer. Squash, squash, squash. <laughs> Who rides a segue like that? Who? Okay, here we go. Boom! Ow, that was my head. Hut! 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 
Oh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I also have a broken neck. But that's not what's important. What's back here? Oh, just another wall. Okay. Here we go. So, bouncy. Bounce. 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 Jump space! I hit space. <laughs> oh, he almost got crushed. That's too bad that he didn't actually get crushed. Okay. Here we go. And we go on away. And jump. And don't jump. And jump. C. Space bar. Space bar. I hit Z. No, I didn't. I hit shift. My bad. And here we go. We're going to do this now. We're going to do this. We're going to jump. Not gonna jump. We're gonna jump, hit Z, and space! Oh, come on! Use your arms like a man, man! This guy sucks. Life. All oh, that is holy. Mass Effect is coming! Okay? It's downloading. Chill the French toast door out, sticks, sticks, stick. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Just. Oh, God. Oh! Well, could have been worse. The large Satan eats you. I don't know what that means. I want to use the fat lady. What the f... Okay. I have been eaten. That horse almost killed me. Stupid horse, get out of here! Oh, this man has rockets on the back of his chair. This stupid horse is pissing me off, man. I'm really bad at games like this, so... This is why Zach plays this game and not me. No! 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 Oh, this... this nope, I don't want to do this board either. Why do you people like this game? Okay. Here we go. This one should be okay. The Segway guy and I get along. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This one's pretty cool. Oh, Shoop-de-doop. doop Yeah. Okay. It's like Twisted Metal all over again. And then, oh, look at that! The most flexible body in the world goes to the man on the Segway, and then he dies. <laughs> oh. Mass Effect is at 73%. Okay. 73%. And the Segway guy is doing okay. He's like, what's up, homies? I got this. This is easy shit compared to everything else. Hut. Yeah. 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 Yeah, time to go backwards. Time to go forwards. We got this. This is, this is good stuff. All right, going forwards now. Block the block. The most bendable man in the history of what the hell is going on here? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I see the people say robot unicorn attack, whatever the hell that is, so... If you're trolling me, I'm gonna find about where you live. Okay? Oh, it's an adult swim game. Okay. Fair enough. Ah! Noisy. Where's the volume on this 
stupid thing. Play now! I smell popcorn. Is that my tumor? Click to play. Press Z to make your wishes come true. Oh shit! The Z button is the shit in this game! Oh motherfucking unicorn and shit! I will unicorn your mom! What happened? Oh my, his head came off! Oh! Oh shit, son! I wanna be with you. Ooh. This is the shit. Who fucking make this game? Who oh, fuck the unicorn exploded? Okay, uh, that was fun, but I'm seeing totaljerkface.com. If it's porn, I'm killing you guys. Okay, this seems to be legitimate. At least it's not porn yet. Uh, I think it's broken. Oh no, it's just loading. Never mind. See, the robot unicorn attack was fun, but it only has limited appeal for me. That doesn't mean loud as shit again. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to play with it a little bit loud. Unless I can come with it. I can at least lower it for you guys a bit. Alright. Play Boss Battle Medley? Santa Claus, that's easy. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? Take that, stick man. Oh, I suppose I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, I guess maybe I was supposed to do that. I don't know what the fuck just happened. The download is 78% complete. I can see the download, okay? Don't worry. Alright, here we go. <gasps> Santa Claus can fly! <laughs> Fucking elves. <laughs> yeah, take that! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Eliminate JB. This is horrible. <gasps> Censored. She got naked. Take that demonic gorilla. The principal's office. Oh God. No! Santa Claus, no! I was so close! Santa Claus, you can make it! You can make it, Santa! Make it! Make it there! You can do it! Yeah! We made it! We made it, guys! We made it! 
We made it. We made it. Look at that. Mass Effect is currently at 81%. We've achieved world peace. Let's find a new level. Ocarina of Time HD. What? Hey, Link. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. It's quite an honor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking elves. The cookery shop. Ow! What's up with that, Deku? We're gonna do this again. This time with style. I'm still alive. <gasps> what does it say? Thou shalt save and the three spirit stones, one of which lies inside myself. <laughs> I'm flying and shit, man. If you are having trouble beating the Goma, then go this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What the fu- actual fuck. Okay. The elves do not have any- Ow! Oh! Ah! Ow, my leg! I'm doing this with one leg, guys. And one arm. And that's the rest of me. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh, we gotta keep we gotta keep trying this. Mass Effect is at eighty three percent downloading. Yes, I'm taking the elf with me. Ow, headshot. You jerk, I don't wanna play this anymore. That guy is mean. Davy Jones. And by Davy Jones, I mean Indiana Jones, but don't worry about that. <gasps> details, details. Okay, here we go. We're gonna restart that. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I don't have a time as to when these things are going to be done I just I just don't dear god that's okay we're going to have to change change it to santa change to santa oh, ho, ho. santa claus no Oh my god! This game is evil! Pokemon training? Oh, hell yes. I choose you, Pikachu! Oh god. <laughs> Pikachu is a murderer. A murderer! I choose you! Back up! Back up! Back up! Oh, we made it! We made it, girl! I think. Well, that was convenient for me. Chickalipop, Chickalipop, Chick. Oh, you got no, no. Yeah. See, I saw that. I see that coming. I saw it coming, just like this guy is doing with the girl on his back. Well, uh, never mind about that part of the the game, cause she's dead now.
Um, this ain't working. It has not been an hour and 46 minutes. It can't have been that long. Dewey and I were playing Portal 2 for a long time. And that was when it was a Portal 2 walk, uh, live stream. So, STFU. Alright. 88%. Oh, God. Back up. My bike is stuck. There we go. Got it. Fixed it. <laughs> We're okay, girl. We're okay. We're okay. We just... This bike sucks at riding itself. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Change places. Ah, oh, here we go. That was successful. My favorite. This is just my favorite. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that is horrible. I never realized Pokemon was such a bloody game. No, Jigglypuff! Be gentle! Be gentle, Jigglypuff! Oh, God. Jigglypuff, please be gentle with my body. I think whatever's going on there with the dad and his son, I don't want to know. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. He took my head off. <laughs> Look! Look! The live stream started with Portal 2. Me and Dewey, Portal 2. That's what we were doing. I'm not going to keep explaining this. You guys explain to this peoples that are coming in here that is talking about la, the, the Mass Effects and the shit, alright? Mass Effect is going to get done. We were playing another game, and I'm going to be playing Mass Effect, so I decided to live stream it. It's got to download. So in the meantime, it's at 92%, and I'm going to freaking play some damn video games in the meantime. Okay? Chill! Chill out! I'm gonna start yelling at people. And then break my legs. We still got this. We got this. We got this. We totally got this. There we go. I don't need legs. Legs are for losers. Oh god, my wheels are stuck on my stumps. Oh, I kinda need the head and torso part, though. That's... That's just too bad that I didn't get to keep that. What the fuck? Come on. Come on. There we go. At least get down here. I think that's as far as we're going. Alright. So we'll try this again. I gotta get past the stuff. Pika, Pika, Pikachu! This, that drop does not like this man's legs. Come on. We don't need legs. Legs are for losers. Take that, Jigglypuff. There we go. 
Kaboom! Bitch, what you got? What you got on me? Come on, we got this. I don't need legs. I got plenty of body parts. There we go. There we go. What's down here? It's a pedal bear! No! Ow. Final stage. My head came off. I got to the final shot. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Oh. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. The whole way. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Come on. Mass Effect is at 96%. <laughs> my, my, my lady friend is texting me asking why aren't I talking to her. Let's see. Okay, my my uh, my guy has stopped. I can hear that he stopped. <laughs> but my my wheels are still moving. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna try this level one more time. Thunderbolt, Thundercats, Thundercats, Thundercats. Oh. Uh. God! The legs on the bus go brick, 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 brick. The legs on the bus go brick, 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 all through the town. Jigglypuff ain't got nothing on me. Self destruct sequence starting in 3, 2, 1. Come on, piles of meat. You're coming with me. Nope, no you're not. You're in my way. Ah, that was my... The, the wheel keeps landing on my genitals. <laughs> Pedal bear! Okay, now don't land on your head. Final showdown. Here we go. Can we make it? to the final showdown. No, there goes a part of my leg. Psychic power. Well, I think I made it. No. Oh, it's Mewtwo! Screw Mewtwo! I wanna be the very best. Sing with me. Like no one ever was. Bum, 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 bum. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. Hey, they didn't, they didn't do the whole song. That, I was going to sing the whole song for you guys. Aw, that'll get a five stars because I beat it. And uh, I'm going to exit out of this now and say it's time for some steam. Because Mass Effect is done being downloaded. So let's play. Play Mass Effect. There, the thing you guys have been waiting for. Valve, well, did you want to play this on your computer? Yeah, I do. Oh, good. It's got to install more DirectX crap, even though I've already got that installed. Fantastic. Oh, all right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This is fun. All right. So as you can see, in the background, I've got uh, Grand Theft Auto V as my... Uh, what you call it? You know this thing. Uh, what do you call this area? What do you call this? Grand Theft Auto V, the wallpaper, background. All right, Mass Effect. Right. I don't want this stuff. Quit trying to tell me what to, what to buy, Steam.
Is it going to let me play Mass Effect or what? Play. 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 Oh. Play. Play. Oy vey, this is, this is... Well... Uh... This, this is interesting. He doesn't. He doesn't want me to play. What the f fuck? Let's try this again. Steam is like broken. Look at the color on Steam. It's it's broken. I don't know what's going on. It won't let me play the game. Play, play the game. Ah, well, that apparently fixed Steam. Play the game now. What is going on? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to break. So if you guys are going to get to see the... Uh, here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What the French toast? Let's see what this does. Oh god, no, I'm not gonna go. Ugh, gross. Play. Play Mass Effect. Okay. It's funny, it says I've recently played Mass Effect, but I haven't. Okay, let's hope, for the love of Jesus, I can play Mass Effect. Play Mass Effect. Play. It doesn't want me to play Mass Effect. So, uh, hmm. Interesting, interesting. If I restart the computer, I'm going to have to... Shut up, comic book guy! This sucks. This sucks really badly. Um, don't worry. I've got a fix. You guys, you guys, uh, give me, give me one second. What happened to this program? Okay. Screenception. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. Get off the Facebook page. There's Twitter. Let's see. YouTube's. Uh, give me one second. Oh, I'm 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 so sorry, guys, that this has all been horribly horrible. Uh, I'm gonna set up my freaking Xbox and see if I can find a copy of Mass Effect laying around my apartment. So, you guys, go to Steam folder, open Mass Effect folder, and run Mass Effect .exe as an administrator. Is that gonna work? I don't, this is the Steam folder. Open Steam folder. This is the Steam folder. I don't, I'm not. Oh. Alright. Yeah, we're just going to do it that way. Um, YouTube video you guys want in the meantime? Take your pick. 
I'm not fucking around. Fuck you. Getting frustrated. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. I don't know what to do. Um. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm doing YouTube on YouTube. That's right. Let's see. What's in our history? Let's watch something Zach has watched. This is in our history. Our own videos are in our own history. What the hell? Yeah. You guys want some Mass Effect? <laughs> watch Dewey play Mass Effect. Oh, God. That is not Dewey. Ew. Who's watching that guy? All right. Here you go. I'm going to set up my Xbox. It's the only thing I can do. Here we go. Sorry. Hello everyone, this is Yui, and guess what? Mass Effect 3 demo is here, and I am unbelievably excited for this. Mass Effect 3 is a game that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. You can ask any of my friends, Zach, Raymond, ask them all. I have been looking forward to this game so much. Uh, it's, it's just, the whole Mass Effect series is unbelievable. The story that you can create, your own story, uh, that you can be, you can tell with, you know, your actions and everything. It's just amazing. And I want you guys to do me the biggest favor in the world. I want you guys to... Setting up the Xbox right now. Oh god, oh god, I'm about to break it. I'm gonna break the Xbox. Oh shit. You guys are lucky I found my freaking copy of Mass Effect for the Xbox. I know some of you are going to be increasingly angry that What's that? You have it for the Xbox the whole time and you wasted time with the Yeah, yeah. it's because I wanted to play it on PC, okay? Alright. And more so, I don't have Mass Effect 2 on Xbox, so take that. Okay. Okay. The Xbox is plugged in, turned on. Oh. Yeah, I know. You guys are going to hate me so much. All right, all I got to do is run this program. Oh. All right, that should be all there is to it. Not Skyrim. I'd love to play Skyrim, but I can't play Skyrim right now. Because I've got work to do, and Mass Effect is my work. Oh, oh brother. I tell ya. Just when I think I've got everything figured out, the whole world likes to go, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Mass Effect. Right, guys? That's what you're here to see. Let's hope that's what you're here to see, because holy shit, if you're not, then I don't know what the hell you've been doing here the whole time.
Okay, Mass Effect. Okay, Mass Effect, here we go. Oh, sorry about that. I had to go get me a drink because this has all been stressful. And drinking is how I cope with that. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, kids. Don't do that. Don't listen to me. I'm a bad influence on you. Uh, my PS3 is blocking my Xbox, which is blocking the TV. So I gotta move shit around. Give me a moment. Oh, I think, I think, I think we're ready to go. Okay, we're going to start fresh. The very beginning of Mass Effect. Okay? Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Let's connect. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Uh, new idea, I don't want to be named John, okay, uh, custom mail, because this is going to be my character uh, for Mass Effect 3, because uh, I'll be doing the the, live, the walkthrough for Mass Effect 3, so it'll probably be a good idea, oh, I'm going to break things in my on my desk, this is nuts, uh, we're just going to name him Ray, because that's me, that's what my name is, home slicey dog, yo. Logging in. Warning. Data corrupt. Oh, shit. Please reconstruct. Profile. I'm going to reconstruct my profile. Confirm pre service history. <coughs> All right, just so you guys know, this is going to be a live stream of me just playing. Um, this isn't going to be anything walkthrough quality. I'm playing the game because I need to play it so I can know what the hell I'm doing in Mass Effect 3. All right, both of my parents. Do I want to be a spacer? Colin, let's see here. All of those are boring except for the Earthborn. I like the Earthborn the best. So Earthborn it is. Oh goody. I'm gonna go Soul Survivor again. Make just like the most horrible, horribly traumatic character in the world. Confirm military specialization. <coughs> God, this character looks dumb. How do I get to like customize my appearance and stuff? When do I get to do that? Well, they can only use a pistol. Whatever.
No. I think I'm gonna go with Infiltrator. Okay. Um, Vanguard looks really dumb. Although, I guess they combine magic and weapons. Yeah, magic, not biotics. I don't care what they want to name it. It's still magic. Deadly at short range. Hmm. Um... I don't know what I want to do, guys. I don't know. Do I want a soldier? Do I want an infiltrator? Vanguard? I mean, this is what this is going to be my very first time playing Mass Effect, really. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the infiltrator. That's just that's just it says. This is how Ray would play the game. Confirm Change appearance. Let's make this motherfucker as ugly as we can. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. My apologies. Yes, I burped. If you don't like it, can't help you. I am seriously playing this game for mostly my own enjoyment and partially because I'm going to be doing Mass Effect 3. Actually, it's because it's, it's because I'm going to be playing Mass Effect 3 for the walkthrough. So I need to get that done. All these guys look like douchebags. Let's see. Facial structure. Dude can look messed up. I like that scar actually. Right there, that scar looks good. My head, yo, my head. What's wrong with my head? Face size? The hell? Alright, cheek width, cheekbones. Cheek gaunt. Okay, whatever. Ear size. Little tiny bitty ears. Mm, that's fine. Ear orientation. <laughs> okay. The eyes, the shape. How must we do the eyes shape? I like those. High eyes. Sink them back a little bit. Brow depth. Fucking Crow Magnum looking dude up here in here. Brow height. Lower them a little bit. Iris color. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I want him to look. Let's see. I'll go with. I'll go with those. The jaw. OK. 
Okay. The mouth. Ooh, I can make his lips all pretty. Uh. Go with, I'll go with that. Mouth width. Big mouth, motherfucker. Okay. The nose. I'm really picky about nose shape. Whatever. All right, we'll go with that nose. And then the hair, the hair, the hair. Ooh, I can choose my beard. I'll go with that because that's pretty much what I have. I just got scruff all along the bottom of my chin. All of this looks like crap. I guess we'll go with that. And we'll go with that. There's my shepherd, everybody. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. Or stay and watch. That's also a choice. Here we go. Identification. Normal uh, auto level up off subtitles. We'll put subtitles on for you guys just in case you're blind or deaf. One of those two. Can't remember which. Target it says normal, defense only, whatever, I'll just keep everything default. Sweetness, let's play some math defects. Do a shout from Minnesota. Fusforta! There you go. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? No record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Oh shit. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space bank civilization. The decades have followed mysterious artifacts revealing new technologies enabling travel to the farthest stars. The basis of the incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy calls it... Mass Effect!
Sweet. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting off. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. I like Joker. Uh, that's just because he's, you know, voiced by Seth Green. And Seth Green is awesome, so. The captain's waiting for you in the conference, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. I won't keep him waiting, but I will shoot motherfuckers. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander.
What's the run button? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. I like the doctor lady. She's smart people. Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for you. I have no idea. It. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about <coughs> time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Sorry, I'm currently balancing my Xbox on two other Xboxes. <laughs> I had to move it. Um, Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. 
Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Shit, son. It's the Reapers! Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Saving content, please don't turn off your console. Ship perimeter secure. Kaden! Smells like smoke and death. Oh god. What happened? This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay. 
It's the flood from Halo! All I want to do is sprint. How do I sprint? Ooh, what's this? Found an upgrade kit already! Sweet! Where the hell am I supposed to go? Yeah, I'm already lost. Oh, pff, duh, this way. This direction, follow the path, Ray. Jenkins! Jenkins! service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Check your talk. Those aren't friendlies. I don't think anything that looks like that is friendly. Plus it's good target practice. Kaden, will you get out of my way? How many times have to shoot right dead center like that? I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I'm gonna shoot you, Ashley. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. 
Warriors. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Corians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Corians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Let's do this thing. All right. What the fuck did that do? Oh. Okay. Uh, equipment. I've used the equipment screen before, so. I got me some better armor and shit. I can read all this stuff in my free time. I'm not gonna let you guys, I'm not gonna let you get or ha have you guys sit through that stuff. I can upgrade and shit. I'm doing well, Lord Jeremy. That was me. That was me.
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to be me talking a lot during this live stream. I'm basically just playing the game, so... Don't expect a whole lot of color commentary from me at the moment. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Where the hell am I supposed to go? I feel like I'm backtracking. I'm backtracking. Shit. Do 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 going on a walk. Walking, walking, walking. There we go. Run and run and run. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They turned them into husks. Good. the hell? No, oh, I upgraded again. I'm on a roll and shit.
Override. Fumes. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Mm, the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. I'm a paragon. Hell yeah. Got me a sniper rifle. Let's equip the sniper rifle. This isn't your mission, Sarat. What are you doing here? 
The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Nihilus, no! I'm just kidding, I know Nihilus dies here. Shit, son, where? How do I switch weapons? Wait, I don't know how to switch weapons. Take out those hostiles. Hold your breath, Shepard. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Give me a second, guys. Hold on. I'm, I'll let him talk. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? 
He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Okay, forget about it. I've got more important things to worry about. Good luck. I'm a paragon, and I got some shit, and then I'm gonna do shit with this shit. Oh yeah, what you gonna do about it? This thing is way better than the pistol I'm currently using. Tired, but not that tired. What? Action? All targets down. Why am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. Not what I was supposed to do, apparently. Uh, load. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm hitting wrong buttons all over the place. Damn it. I hit the wrong button. I'm gonna get me some M&Ms. Oh. Okay. Uh, nope, they're not peanut ones. Sorry. Uh, what's going on? For the person that just asked that, is I'm playing Mass Effect, and I'm currently opening up a bag of M&Ms. Can you hear? That's the sound of the M&Ms hitting the tan tin. Alright, here we go. Okay, I gotta do this shit all over again. Son of a bitch. Okay, well at the very least I'm gonna come back here and grab that med kit that I found. Ugh. Okay. There we go. We no shit, Sherlock.
All of my fancy stuff is gone. Running and running and running and running and running and running and into a lake. I get to do all this all over again. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be. Okay. You're Doctor Ward. It was moved when the attack. No came. one is saved. What else can you tell me about me? It all Agents, of we could hear the battle outside. Did you notice a turret? I saw That's it. It's impossible. Can you tell me anything about... It's miraculous. We have unearthed them. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Williams, take us to the street. You can't stop. Hush, Manuel. Go ahead. Right that was the fastest conversation ever. I'm talking with you. Cut scene. Oh, my God. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Kaboom! He shot him! No!
God, Shepard sucks with the sniper rifle. Or maybe I just suck with the sniper rifle. Either way, I'm done, not gonna use the sniper rifle right now. You all suck! Caden just died. What a failure. Oh, look, he's not dead. X, B, X. It's my new song. It is sex. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming is out. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around. Uh, it showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second Tell me everything you remember. The three they were by the garage. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage... Do you know anything about the We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. What else can you tell me about? I was too busy. Tell running. them about the it noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded it like... It was probably... Whatever fine. it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made I have it. to go. Hey, Cole. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell some me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. What kind of package? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if we're risking our lives. Yeah, there's Who's one. your contact? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Colin Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. All right. Hell yeah. Got my pistol back. Save. I'm gonna save now so that I don't die and then have to restart. All right, we're doing awesome. Getting shotguns. I'm already doing better than I used to. Or than I did. Commander, it's Nihilus. I ain't got time to look at his body. I got a med kit over here. What's over here? whole bunch of nothing. Oh, how do I get that? There we go, ammo upgrades. I'm exploring shit and shit. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told the Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too.
Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. You were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. <clears throat> You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. They killed him! They killed him! Oh, hi. My pistol is full of wind, yo. And dead yet again. Wow, fucking Christ. Well. Take you out.
Damn it, why does he suck so badly at, at breathing? Shaky ass motherfucker! Holy shit, he runs fast! Check me out my sniper skills, hells yeah! Nope, nope, no sniper skills, get sniper skills there. Come on, damn it! Just need to fucking shoot him in the head. Ah, quit shirking around the fucking camera and shit. There we go. Holy shit! They're dead. They're dead. Okay, they're all dead. <sighs> the train controls, you must activate them. It's like Gears of War. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. hurts from sitting in this chair for so long. Come on! Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Working on it, bitch! Where y'all bitches at? Bitch, if you don't get out of my way... Not in the middle of a fight! Disarming you... Is easy, cause all I have to do is hit, hit A... Do to do to do to do do. Oh, fuck. Oh, what you got, bitch? I'm gonna snipe a rifle your ass. Oh, shit, son. What happened to you and your mama? Ah! I got me some more weapons. All of my targets are down. 
There's a bomb somewhere over here. Give me one second, guys. One second. Give me one second. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Uh, shit, I got two minutes and 50 seconds to do this. Uh, where the French toast is this last one? There's a charge remaining, and I gotta find it. Is it back here? No. Is it over here? There are enemies over here, I'm just going to assume that the, the thing is over here. Come on, oh god. My microphone is not in a good position. Ah! Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Running in circles. Thanks a lot, video game. Okay. The hell? I found it. Somehow missed this one. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Now where to? Okay. 
Oh shit, son! Come on, you weird husk looking things! The husk be dead. What is making that noise? Holy shit! Here we go. It's the beacon! Good. Before I do the whole beacon thing, I'm gonna look over here. Just exploring me some areas, and this is why. I got me some stuff. Do 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 do. That was the Doug theme song. Storage locker, where? That's a crate, not a storage locker. Uh, here's a storage locker. B, Y, X, yay! We got tons of cool shit, yo! Walking... And another storage locker. That's what I'm talking about, girlfriend. Ah. Alright. We're doing good stuff. Okay. Normandy, the beacon is secure. Amazing. Request Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh shit. I got me some goddamn M&M's. These are delicious. They taste like chocolate. Ooh, sexy booty. Ooh, sexy boobies. Ooh, ugly face. Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Okay, they're gonna try to eliminate me. I look pretty. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Oh. A 
How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon. 15 hours is about a regular nap for me. Fault. I must have triggered some nap, kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. If the beacon exploded, a system overload maybe, the blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Pig. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, sir. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We proved Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be <sighs> head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I'm gonna go talk to Seth Green. Hell yeah, Seth Green is my dog, my homie.
Me and him are like, like bros, yo. Let's see, pistols leveled up because now I can do the sniper rifles, which is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna go with the charm. Let's get that done, done and over with right away. Charm my way up through the slots and shit and whatnot. Okay. I've got a sexy body. What do you got? Oh, Ooh, what's in the purple stuff? Some probulators. Running and running and running and running and running. Hey, Commander. Hi. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty oh. over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Oh, God! Sorry, taking off my socks, my feet. You're a good oh. soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Oh. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks. Commander. I'm a paragon of truth and virtue. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me, too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Ooh, my locker. Hayden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Okay, Kevin. Thank you very much. Hi there. Hello there. What's your name, girl? Hmm. I've been in this part of this ship before. It's all exploding at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. I'm gonna go talk to Joker and I'm gonna be like you're a cripple and I still love you even though your legs don't work I'm glad you're okay commander 
Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. I'm gonna do this thing of the walking and talking and shit. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. It's so pretty. I always like this part. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Oh, shit. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> Saving content, please don't turn off your console. Important locations are marked on your map. For active missions, key locations will be parked as a destination. Your radar will indicate the direction of a destination in exploration mode. Continue. Oh my gosh! I will now level up my squad. Starting with Ashley because she's the hot one at the moment. She will be good with the assault rifles. And then combat armor, probably because assault training is better. Although a soldier might help her as well. I'll give her soldiers. All right, there we go. And then Caden Christensen or Caden Cross or whatever this guy's name is. I don't remember. We're just gonna do that call today. I'm already hacking into shit. First thing I do is just hack into shit. 
Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do you want to send in a recon team? No, we do not. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day. I like these guys. I like the aliens in this game. They're cool people. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me more about your species. Oops, that was my mistake. I delight in telling the history. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. What's your issue, Din? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. 
Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Not me. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dim. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good. It's these things. Sure is peaceful here. Sure is peaceful here. Shut up, bitch. I'll find where you live and kill you. Or just kill you now since you're right in front of me. One of the two. It's Cortana. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. 
each species in citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using a... Uh, I see that a lot of you down there in the comment streams don't like that I'm taking my time to uh, go ahead and speak to people and learn things. Um, screw you. <laughs> I'm playing this game for my own personal reasons. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you don't like it, go play a video game yourself. <laughs> Alright? Uh, I'm, I'm doing this live stream because I figured why not? Not because I have to. So enjoy me playing the game or go do something else. I'm not here to... Well, I guess I'm here to entertain you, but not <laughs> to the fullest extent at the moment. It's f almost 5 in the morning. I'm cranky. Talking about these things. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation, as much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. <laughs> Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. Damn, homie. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> Well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm... It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. 
We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh shit, I'm gonna get some booty. Oh, alien booty. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Give me some alien booty. Oh yeah. What I'm gonna do. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Find your mom irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't. <laughs> what a nerd. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Ooh. Lily. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. He's gonna die. No, it's a medium shot. Yeah, I went there. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Hmm. Now I must ask you to take no. leave. No. I have many clients waiting to see. I'm gonna have the sexy time with you. Ah, uh, sexy time with the blue alien chick. Yeah. What you got on me, Sigourney Weaver? Bye, bitch. All right, now where the hell am I going? <laughs> I'm gonna explore the citadel and shit. Ooh, a Krogan statue. Hard to believe the Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. I like the Krogan. They're cool people. I like these dudes too. These dudes, these aliens are the shit. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? Sorry, right, space soft. This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one, it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive, it is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in the... 
Please take time to examine the Let's see what you got, bitch. Show me your items. I cut off the alien. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. How much are the clock where you live? Right now it's about 5 a.m. So I've been up I've been up since 2 p.m. So whatever. I got money, 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 money. This shit costs a lot. Wow. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to buy it. <laughs> That's what I do. I ain't gonna buy shit from you. Screw you. Let's see. Anybody interesting in here? Eh? No? I'm just roaming the halls, seeing what's what. It's a keeper! I should kill it! No, not gonna kill it. Oops. I'm spacing out I'm getting getting tired um, there of Barlavan what's this one of the earth clan uh, a very famous one yes you are the one called Shepherd the tale of how you survived the great tragedy on a coos is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. <sighs> I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Ooh. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the This is not Mass Indians. Effect 3, this is Mass Effect. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single, strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard, people like us. What are the words like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. 
You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. But he didn't tell me anything about the uh, shadow broker. He is supposed to. I remember him talking about the shadow broker to me when I played this game before. Let's see. Maybe I just haven't gotten to that part yet. What? Who gives a fuck, Ashley? Who gives a flying motherfuck or a shit or a damn? Or a poop? Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? It's a keeper. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Shut up. I will kill you. I will kill you, Cortana. Where does this go? To wards. I don't want to go to the wards yet. Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll go to the tower. Get this whole thing underway. And for the elevator scene. Here we go. I'm gonna get some water. Give me a second. You guys enjoy your elevator. Okay, I'm back. Give me a second. Uh, sorry, I had to get some, got to get some water. Mouth's feeling all dry and shit. Oh, here we go. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. No! Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe the lit. I bet all these staircases. You don't I want to keep talking to Garrus. He's my favorite character up to this point because he looks cool.
Why are you a Sith? He's a Sith Lord. Hello, lady. Ooh, a handsome man. Are you Garrus? Are you... No, he wasn't Garrus. Are you Garrus? Hold on. You. You got Garrus. Nope, you're wearing red. Never mind. You're not Garrus. Are you Garrus? Nope. That dude wasn't even a Turian. What are you two doing back here hiding from everybody else, huh? No public sex. The hell is this thing doing? I'm gonna go find people to talk to. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Commander. 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 Everyone's just sitting around in silence, not even talking to anybody. You guys are boring lives. I just want somebody to say something interesting. Mr. Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. 
and he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. <sighs> Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are it's needed. It's 518 AM. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren. It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. 
They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still... If it's end. boring, turn it off. I'm gonna keep playing no matter what you do. So shut up and goodbye. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Alrighty. That was that. The damn council won't see our ways. They won't accept us. Can't they see what they're doing is wrong? All I want to do is make sure that justice is served and that people are saved and they're like, no. Never. And it makes me sad. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Alright, so scanning keepers is something I like doing. Uh, cause I find it interesting that nobody knows anything about them. And, yeah, I want to know more about them and what the hell they're doing. So, plus it gets me experience points and money. And I like money, so fuck it. <laughs> oh. I am getting tired, though. It's a bit redonkulous. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. All right, scanning motherfuckers all over the place. Oh, All right, scanning keepers and shit. I can't go to sleep. I have to play Mass Effect. Okay, if I could go to sleep, I would. But Mass Effect needs to get played, cause Mass Effect Three comes out on Tuesday, and I have to play <laughs> that game for our walkthrough channel channel walkthroughness. And I'm not going to play that game without playing the first two. It's just not going to happen. So. Scanning you is easy because I have a device that scans. Do 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 do. My ears itch from this he from these headphones. Anybody in here you got something for me to do? I can scan somebody or something? Maybe shoot somebody in the head? I'm just kidding. 
Not gonna shoot anybody. Do 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 do. Let's go to the Presidium. My favorite food is lasagna. Um, the pizza and steak and burgers are good as well. I also like minicotti. Uh, basically, any Italian food is fucking delicious. So, yeah. I scanned it, bitch. What you gonna do? Ooh, I see another one. Do not I ain't disturbed nothing, bitch. Shut up. I'll kill you. I want to save because I like talking to these dudes, but I want to make sure that everything is cool, you know? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus, no permit should be necessary. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most... Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. I want to say this. I have the full speech option thing. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. If I purchased the evangelical permit... As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit... I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? 
I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Where the hell do I buy a permit from? What the fuck? Uh. Give me a s <coughs> Give me a second. Loading. Bar is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? Oh, yeah, give me a more comfortable chair, please. My ass is killing me. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Sarah. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Tell me more about your job. I also offer premium services for those clients. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay.
Commander, it is good to Show see me you. your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. No, I want to buy a permit. I want to buy a permit. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you. Commander. Show me your Shut eyes. up. Oh, Upgrade. Sure, why not? So nope. Well then. I don't know where to buy a permit from. Anybody know where to sell a permit from? There's a keeper down here. I'm gonna go and scan this motherfucker. I'm scanning keepers like a motherfucking son of a bitch. It's what I do when I play in games and shit. I'm running in circles and shit. I just scanned that one, I think, didn't I? Yep, I did. So I am running in circles. True story. Okay. I got F bombs, I got U bombs, I got Q bombs, so many bombs and shit that I use with words. Like penis. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting tired when I start spouting shit like that. <laughs> To the financial district. Oh, uh. Woo. good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Investigate. Location. What is this place? What is this this place? Is more specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Nope, nope, I know what that is. I know what that oh, is. Avina is Goodbye, bitch. Have a pleasant day. A white lady. Level up, up, up. Hmm. Gonna do this bitch with the assault rifles again. Alright. Let's 
scanning some keepers. Ooh, an Elkar. Hi, Mr. Elkor. I'm gonna go talk to some people. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide... Bend the rules. Yeah. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council... Ben 9 is my cousin. Spam his Xbox account. Spam him. Spam him right now. It'll make me laugh. <laughs> Tell me about your investigation into Sarah. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus McCarran? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs uh, patience. Why am I looking at you your think forehead? An of law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Uh, was there anything else? Nope. Bye, you. bitch. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you for your time and your bad breath. Well, right, nope, that's me. I'm I'm the one with the bad breath. Manual override. A B A. So exceeded. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of your shared plight. Few understand us. Few tolerate us. We must stand together. We build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Era Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay. Loving you is easy cause you're ugly as shit. Who the fuck are all you people? Who are you? I don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. What do you want? Oh, yeah, Commander. bitch. Fuck. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge. I didn't know that. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. Shut up, Ashley. Have fun, then. Fuck you think you is, bitch. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. 
don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Did you hear what Asti just said? She's a racist. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Oh, sure. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shayeras. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Good. Right. Good. And now, no. So long, Commander. Have a good day. I thought there was some drunk guy in here I was supposed to talk to or something. I don't remember. I scanned the creeper. I'm gonna talk to ten more people. Every time someone tells me to stop talking to people, I'm gonna talk to ten more people. Alright? So shut up and go watch something else. What's in here? Oh, Seasick Academy. Why not? Elevator ride, elevator ride. Elevators are fun. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Sweet! They're gonna protect shit and stuff with the words in the English language that I speak very well. Ugh. Where does this one go? To the docking bay. Rex! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the quarian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. 
Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down, too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Oh, shit! I'm gonna take Rex instead of this motherfucker, cause fuck shit in your butt. Uh, I'm gonna take... Well, I have to take Rex. Okay. And then Ashley. There we go, Rex and Ashley. Cause fuck Caden. So f from what I've heard of Caden, he's kind of a dumbass or a douche or just yeah, I don't want him. So fuck this shit up and go. All right. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly. <laughs> Did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm looking for some stuff to do stuff with. Possibly some other stuff for some stuff. I don't know what these things are, so I'm going to buy them. <laughs> okay, now where to? I've been live streaming for like five hours. This is the longest I've ever live streamed before. Good job, internet. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going places. something. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. 
His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Hello, Commander. Your mom's a commander. I wanna hack into computers and shit and be like, these computers are mine and shit. I'm scanning keepers. Yeah, doing terminals and shit. Got a weapons locker. That place is locked. I want to go down there. Oh. Okay. It's almost six o'clock already, holy fuck. Six AM for me, by the way. I know some of you guys don't live in the United States and therefore you're watching from some other country or continent, which is awesome. Let's go to the wards. Well, this is this is nice, nice scene here. The elevator music really sets the mood. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Pa 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 da 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 I saw the monument at a coups. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know, seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is, police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? 
I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be. Oh, talking. my ass hurts from sitting in this chair for six hours. Oh, my God. <sighs> my precious ass. It hurts so much. Okay. Like I said. Whoa. Who said that? Every time I hear somebody or read a comment saying, hey, stop talking to people, I'm going to talk to ten more people. Ooh, it's so pretty. You can keep the presidium. The I see no action so far. It's all been talking. I found me a keeper. I'm a sister to save my g g game. Oh, I can upgrade Rex. That's right. Let me upgrade Rex. All right, Rex needs some. Um, is he a biotic? Interesting. Uh. <sighs> Well, I'm going to get some assault rifles, skills, uh, combat armor is probably good. I mean, I'm really a big, just like, running gun, shoot him in the face kind of guy. Um, so, let's go kill people. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Oh, shit, son. Shot him in the head. Show your ugly face, bitch. Murdering people is so much fun. It's like playing a game of fun gameness. Shotgun to you, shotgun to you. Oh no, my shields are down. Think we're good, Commander. Don't tell me what I am. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Aquarium. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Hmm. What? Uh. 
What? We need to find her, but Fist has her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council. Disgrace to my people. To my people. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. I've got Garrus on my team. Ashley can suck a dick. Cause I'm gonna have aliens and shit on my team. That's what I do. Ooh. I'm a singing bastard. I sing songs and whoop de woo. I properly thank you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Well then... Let me take a look at what you have what for sale. What do you have for sale? She's got some medical shit that's way fucking expensive. See, this is why you need health insurance. Because the medical exoskeleton costs 420,000 credits. I don't have that kind of money. And the insurance guys won't let me have their money either. So what am I supposed to do? I can sell her stuff? I didn't even know you could sell stuff in this game. That's a, that's a good shotgun. That's an even better thing. I'm gonna sell this one. I'm selling shit and shit. Here I am. Combat sensor? I don't know what some of these things are. I'm not going to sell anything else until I get a better... Better handle on things. Can I... Nope. Okay. We're good. I murdered people and I got Garrus. You feeling lucky, punk? Look at the outside, it's so pretty. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! What do you want, bitch? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment Are you time? related to Amy Wong from Futurama? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Oh? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything? Uh, you wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? 
I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Give me one second, guys. I almost died. I almost died. Okay. 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 Oh god. <sighs> Sorry, my uh my roommate slash cousin has to work at five AM and it's six AM, so he was sleeping. So <laughs> I woke him up. Ugh. All right, let's see. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Loving you is easy cause you're beautiful. Open up the fucking door. Do -do 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 -do. Why is my game starting to judder? I don't think you bought this. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. I can't. But, what would you... I want to talk to you, Turian. You look cool. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Hello Earth Clan. No doubt you could just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. An Omni tool. Ooh. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to buy it. The hero of the Eden hero Prime. Prime. I'm so I'm honored so to meet honored you. To meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, Hi. but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? 
anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. I got a journal update. I want to read it because the journal says something interesting about this guy. He seemed like a harmless fan. Yeah, but is he? Is he a harmless fan? We just don't know. We just don't know. The required military service of his people have given Garrus expert training in assault and sniper rifles. Increases accuracy with all weapons, increases damage with assault and sniper rifles. Oh, so he's like me! That's why I like Garrus so much. He's just like me. Aww. Okay, there we go. I gotta say, if shit goes down in this room with Chorbin. Shit's about to go down. Where is he? I saw his name. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Yay! Come on.
We're going to Cora's Den. What? Oh shit! Get out of my way! Yes, get out of my way! You guys are jerks! I'm gonna die here. I died. Told you I was gonna die. Who's next, bitches? I'm on it. I'm a fucking sniper with a pistol. I killed a thug. The Krogan bouncer is dead as well. Murdering fools. get some leveling up going on here. Lighters in the air. Okay. Um... That would be good, but I'm going to continue with this stuff. Uh, I can tell that barrier is going to be helpful. Also, why not get good with your shotgun? Why not? You, sir, are going to have uh, sniper rifles at your disposable at the buff. First aid, also good for usage. I got new equipment. A new pistol!
Holy shit, that's an awesome helmet. <laughs> I like that helmet. <laughs> oh, that's what the upgrades are. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked this day. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah, yeah, overrides and shit. Take cover! Enemy is everywhere! You motherfuckers are fast! I died! LOL, LOL, LOL! Oh god, I can't do anything right. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Help me. Uh. No, I have to do this all over again. I can't believe I died yet again. Level up. I'm on it. There we go, that's better. Garrus is down, fuck.
You okay, buddy? Well, that time it went better. Uh, I'm gonna do all my upgrades yet again. Um, and then I'm gonna save after I do it. <laughs> so I don't have to do it all over again. Oh my god. Now I hit the save button. Yay, saving. <laughs> oh. Okay. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. I'll do what I want. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> Yay for me shooting people. I put a grenade by your head, bitch. Those turrets are some mean bastards. Here, I don't know where she is. That's the truth. 
He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set Yes. Up. But when she shows uh, up, it'll be Sarah Don and Defection iffy. This is live. How do you like those apples? Biatch. Give me the location. Now. You're on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Yeah! What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarry. Yeah. I'm on a time limit here. I gotta hack shit. Let's go. What? Where? Meta jail for everybody! Will you get out of my way, Rex? I'll flank him. He's dead, it's okay. Wait. Where am I going? I'm very confused. There's a there's a map thing on the map icon. Ah, oh, you stupid map! It's showing me where a guy would be sitting at some point, but he's not sitting there now. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, let me pause. Go to my journal. Yeah, yeah. Saren's men have set a trap for the quarry and you have to get to her. Right. I want to know where to go because I did not. Okay, then I don't know where to go. So she's probably going to end up dying. I can't get in there. I don't know where I'm going. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Who the fuck are those things? Robot men! Ow! You're a jerk, Mr. Assassin Man! Pop your head out. Oh, fuck! I missed! Oh! I didn't miss that time, bitch! This keeper's just like, yeah, whatever. Me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Uh... My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. 
Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Wait, no, there's a keeper down there. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction... I'm eating M&Ms! At least, that's what the guests believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Huh. What? The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring oh the Reapers back. Oh my ass is killing me. The is just going to love this. Ugh. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. 
Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I've got Tally. Look at that. My shit's already almost full. I've only got to get the Asari person. I don't know who she is. But, hells yeah. And yeah, this is Mass Effect 1. Our, our, Arzka 97. Mass Effect 1. What you got? I'm playing Mass Effect 1 because I need to, because I have to do the walkthrough for Mass Effect 3. Oh, Tali, Tali, Tali. I like Garrus and I like Rex, but I want to use Tali as well. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, you guys tell me, who do I pick? Who do I pick? Tell me. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. You're not telling me. You're not writing down in the comment stream. Garrus and Tally, huh? Tally and Ashley. Garrus. Rex is just in the way. Rex! You guys aren't making it easy. You're not helping me. You're giving me too many options. Ashley, the two humans, those are boring. I don't want humans. Mm. Um, as much as I like Garrus, he does have skills that are very similar to mine. So I'm gonna take Tally and Rex. And then that... That should help, uh... I think. I don't know, we'll find out. I can always change it later, obviously. So. Whatevs, Trevs. I just well, I need Rex because I need I, I I need a tank I need somebody to just deal out the damage and just mess people up. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? Tranquil, calm, relaxing. Wake me when this is over. So much empty space. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yes. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. All right. So my class is infiltrator. Uh, okay. Go to the expensive bar. My goodness, your command uh -uh. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. 
You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. I helped the man with his wife and shit, even though the bitch is dead. What can you do? See, now I did that just because it was the Paragon choice. In real life, I'd have been like, fuck yeah, do whatever you want to that body if it's gonna help in the long run. But whatever, video game. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I got some more leveling up and shit. That's what I do when I play video games. Especially ones that have leveling up as a as a thing. True story. Lighters in the air. I could use some armor. So I'm gonna start doing that. Mr. Rex. You're gonna get some shotgun and some more armor. Ooh, fitness, huh? And then Tali. I want to know what she looks like under there. Anybody know? I don't understand how getting their decryption up helps me when decrypting things. I just don't understand that. Um, but... She needs some pistol stuff. I'll give her that. Some basic armor. Uh... Uh, there we go. I got new equipment and shit. Sweet.
I upgrade shit because I can. If you don't like it, I'm gonna say go watch something else. Cause I don't give a shit. I'm playing this game because I want to. Not to make things look better for you. I like singing, especially when I'm tired. It's six, it's almost seven in the morning. Holy shit. Oh my god, is Mass Effect 3 gonna be this long of a game? Cause holy fuck. I gotta go talk to the mole man. Okay, I've been reminded of all the shit I need to do. But I still don't know where to uh, do some of this shit. Man. Who am I planning on getting with? I don't plan on that at all. Ever. It is just like, oh. That's something I can do. Okay, cool. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Officer been assuaged. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the hen our language and gave the universe the mass relays. I am really tired. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar. But you wish to help spread I'm not going to sleep. Kindlers. I'm never going to sleep. Ever. Not ever. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Yay! I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Yay! I got nothing from that except for experience points. Oh, well that's one thing down. My favorite racing game is Burnout Revenge. Are you happy now? <laughs> the time is almost 7 a.m. I just said that. I've been up since like 2 p.m. It's almost 7 a.m. now. 
can you fight your own people, Rex? There aren't that many of you left. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Kill who? Uh. Hello? You there, Jerome. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the board. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. Scanning the keeper's fun in the sun for everyone. Hello there. I like the clothes some of the ladies in this game play. It's very interesting. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Um... How are you guys? Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3? Please answer. Neither. <laughs> How's that? Hey, I was just shooting this place up, just like earlier today. Good to see that the business is booming again. Jenna. Sorry, I'll get to you when I get Fuck you. Patron. I got business here, but not with you. General Septimus. Commander. What do you want? I already answered what my favorite racing game was. You should have been listening, Mr. Burnout Revenge. I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're <laughs> ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Now, unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and... Act like a general. It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. 
Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Saira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. This music is bumping, yo. And look, now he's just watching some stripper. Not now. I'm watching a show. Maybe that's not the same guy. I don't know. Go away. Let me, let me drink it. I didn't have to use Harkin. Fuck yeah. Opening doors and shit. What the fuck is giggling? I'm not drunk, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I can't go to sleep, I have to play this game. Loading, loading. No, I don't have time to do raids right now. I've got to play Mass Effect. Okay, Mass Effect 3 comes out on Tuesday. That's why I'm playing this. Okay? Don't have time for rage. Don't have time for sleep. Okay? All I have time for is playing this game and going woo and that kind of thing open the door word on the street is that you've been busy congratulations on taking down Fitz. thank you I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and uh, I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I'm rich, bitch! I didn't get to have the moment with Caden and Ashley here where they're, like, just talking about shit. I didn't get to do that. Make me cry every time. If you don't use Reddit, you a loser. Okay.
go to reddit.com and use it as your personal god or as a website cause this shit is bananas I'm looking for the Jahood guy I think he's in I think he's in the um CSEC area I don't want to go to the Presidium, but whatever. My ass hurts! No, this is not Mass Effect 3. It's Mass Effect. If it was Mass Effect 3, it would say Mass Effect 3. Syndicate? Man. I'm not drunk. Tired. Oh, uh, I'm an infiltrator. I infiltrate into your mom's bedroom and I show her a good time. Fuck! No, I've been. Uh, this is where I just came from. Back to the elevator. Oh man. Oh. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused Alduin? the Corporation of fraud. I'll do it. Oh, you're talking about Skyrim. Okay, um, no. I don't have time to play Skyrim. I have got to play Mass Effect, okay? Okay. I do need a massage, Blackhawk. You want to come over to my place? Give me a massage. I don't know where I'm going, all I know is that it is fun to go. Med clinic and seasick. I need to go this way. I'm not putting anything in any description. I'm playing a video game right now. I got time to put shit in descriptions. You put it in the description. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just playing. But seriously though, I'm not going to put it in the description. So, that much I'm not playing. I do have a girlfriend. I'm going to move in with my girlfriend actually. In a month, we just got a new place, her and I. A devoted wife so it's gonna be good stuff. The military under the yes, this is Mass Effect One. Holy crap! How many times do I have to answer this? She gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Who? For more profiles in Courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the. Not Instagram. drunk. Keep tired. Courage. Tired. I'm not playing Twisted Metal either. I'm playing Mass Effect. Okay. Mass Effect. Nothing else. No other video game. I'm sexy and I know it. Bum 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 bum. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me to leave. Lying? Why would I lie to you? Because you's a bitch. You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. But you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, 
then so can I. I appreciate no, the Zach Felling will not continue for me. I'm playing this because I need to play it. It's not just me wanting to play it. I need to play Mass Effect. Mass Effect 3 comes out on Tuesday. And I have to play through both games by Tuesday so that I know what I'm doing for the next game. Because I have to do the walkthrough for it. And now you're making me cry. I'm just kidding. I'm not a stupid person that cries, okay? I'm a real man with manly madness and muscles and beards and sometimes I yell at dragons yes that is what I do fuck I don't know where to go anymore No idea the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh. Zelton's complaint. Speak to Zelton, the Elk. Oh, okay, the Elkor guy. Okay, now I gotta go talk to her. Alright. Let's go take care of business. Oh, oh, this way. My ass hurts from sitting in this chair for six and a half hours. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. <laughs> the production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. <laughs> Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Yeah. The time is 7.16 a.m. and I'm going to stop answering questions like that. This is, this is not Mass Effect. This is, fuck you die. <laughs> That's the name of the game. It's brand new. It came out yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've never played through this game before, so I've played through this part of the game. But, yeah. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good. Was floating above his head. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my request. <sighs> Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll it, was it was an honest mistake. mistake. It fell full. Perhaps you were right, human. I can only hope so. That motherfucker stomps like an elephant. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. 
I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. You're a little bitch. All I want to do is help a brother out. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it? Stop now? hating me. It's all I want. I just want you to be friends. Goodbye, bitch. Yes. Earth Clan. I'm not Earth Clan. I'm a human. Okay. God. He's so rude to me. It's like, what did I ever do to him? I want to go to space and meet aliens. I would be awesome at it. Cause I'd be like, hey, you're an ugly motherfucker, but I bet to you, I'm an ugly motherfucker, so it's cool. Let's just, let's just be ugly motherfuckers together. Yeah. It'd be alright. We'll be good. We'll be good. You want to kill hippies together? Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, still tired. Tiredness has not gone away. <laughs> oh. Hi, I want to talk to you. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's oh Guys, you're boring. Shut up. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. I'm gonna spread my wings and fly. Live TV, Ray, if I may ask you something. What are you smoking? I don't smoke. Not even cigarettes. Okay, it's bad for your lungs. Back to time with Shira. Commander, Shira. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else. But it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Chihira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can. I didn't even get the banger. What the shit? Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I'll give you some strength. I don't know what that means. My Ray, may I ask you what music artist are you listening to? Uh, I listen to proper grammar, so why don't you spell that out? If for, if English is not your first language, then I apologize. But just put that in the comments, because your dad's dad is just bad English. 
<laughs> I'm not going to finish the whole game before I go to sleep. Okay, Fusroda. Oh, my ass hurts. I need to, like, stand up. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I'm standing up now. <laughs> I don't want to play this game. Oh, God. Oh, my ass. Seriously, it hurts. It's sore from sitting in this chair for six hours, 42 minutes, and three seconds. Probably more than that. Uh, ugh. Okay, time to go to the tower because all this other stuff. I don't know where all of these keepers are. Um. The hell? I saw. I see a mission marker over there. What would you do if A send you some money? I would spend it on stuff. <laughs> uh. Running. I like going on foot. It makes me see things. I gotta go there to this thing. Ooh, birdies! Did you hear the birdies? <laughs> Mass Effect 3? Yeah, this is Mass Effect 3. EA said, hey Ray, we're gonna give you a free copy of Mass Effect 3, and guess what? It's the exact same as Mass Effect 1. Isn't that great? I was like, fuck yeah, it is! My leg itches. I'm not gonna tell you the name of my girlfriend. She doesn't want that info out there. Oh shit, they're fighting. Going to the Chamber of Commerce to talk to people about bad guys. And then we're gonna be like, hey. Hey, bad guys, I'ma shoot you in the head now. Word. Okay. Let's do this thing, girl. Yeah. Mr. Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reaper. Oh, shit! You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. 
The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found... Bye, Wolf Hobbs. Existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's truth. It's not true! I've seen trailers for Mass Effect 3, the Reapers are real! See, he's seen them too, he must have saw the trailer! 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. What? You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. I'm a motherfucking Spectre now, bitch! Commander Shepard, step... No! <laughs> decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the city. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. He has some poop on the you side of his face. Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the council is adjourned. I nod my head. Yeah. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Yay! I'm a special guy. I'm like 007 and shit. Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. 
Spectre training charm and immediate intimidate challenge are unlocked. My ass hurts from this chair, but I have to sit down. Oh. Okay. Three hundred years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. The council. The, the council doesn't seem to be a very smart group of people. How they got to be in charge is beyond me. They seem to make on keep on making stupid choices. Let's see. That was the theme song for Inspector Gadget. You're welcome. Ba ba da ba da, Inspector Gadget. Ba da ba ba da ba. Ho Ba da ba ba da, Inspector Gadget. Ba da ba ba da. Bam bam. And then he says, I'll get you next time, Gadget. It's a true story. Ooh, look at it. So pretty. Uh... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> the map in this game needs to be a bit more helpful in telling me where I need to go. Because right now I'm just like aimlessly walking around hoping I find something. I thought it was this guy. I suck! Nine zero zero four five five eight says, "That's not even a real name. Your name is just a bunch of numbers. You are the one that sucks, man. You jerk." Are you the CSEC officer? Hello, Commander. Nope. I think I'll be <laughs> Just popped in to say goodbye. You want they want me to sing? What am I supposed to sing? Uh excuse me, seven hours, thank you very much. The live stream has been going on for 6 hours, 54 minutes, and 48 seconds. At the time that I said this, you guys are going to have a bit of a delay, because that's the way the live stream works. I don't know where to go. Where do I go? I'm looking for some guy who knows what to do with my Spectre stuff, but... Oh, I can upgrade some more shit. Spectre training and more charm, hell yeah. Increases the damage and duration of all your powers. Increases health. I need that. <laughs> and I love the sniper rifle. That's my thing. It's my guy. It's my shit, yo. Carnage! And Tali 
Tali, pretty Tali. Oh, let's see. Lighters in the air. Uh, remember when Ray used sniper rifle at rage? Happy face, 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 face. I never played the ra that game. What's rage? Ah, oh, shit, the whole reason I came in here. You've proven Saren is connected with the Geth as a reward of the consoles. Yay! Uh, at the docking bay. Oh, I gotta go to the docking bay. Okay. That would have helped. Try to say her full name? Okay, I wanna do that. That's right now. Tali Zora Narea. There, I said it. That was easy. God. To the docking bay. Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Okay. My favorite companion is the companion cube. Or Fox from Fallout 3. Fox is the shit, man. Don't fuck with that dude. What side opens? This side opens. No, if I go here... Okay, I go here. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Oh. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I... Yeah! I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop it. I'm going to stop it. We him. have one more lead. Oh, yeah. Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara. Juggernaut. Liara Sony. Yeah, that was fun. Report she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. 
What? We have report shoes of something Artemis. Okay. Where where do I go first? Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. Coffee is gross. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. Uh -uh. I, I was born a specter. Anderson can answer any questions this man obviously have. doesn't listen to what Anderson was saying before. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I will never to say I'm going to kill him. So he watched my video. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. <laughs> it's close to the um, Red Bull is good, but I'd rather have the Monster Chaos drink, the orange one. Those are fucking delicious. Nos are, are Nos are good as well. The council sent Saren to keep an eye on Give me some of those motherfucking things. <laughs> just like to keep tabs on you. Sponsor. I'm just I wish we had a sponsor from an energy drink. That'd be awesome. Shit. Uh what? Why hide what? I was not listening to him. I was sleeping. Council sent Saren. <sighs> Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human specter, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian. Yeah. Artists. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a specter involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. I already said juggernaut. I'm not going to say it again. There was a camp for the world. Damn it! I did it. <laughs> Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was I looking for do a want a cookie. Give me a cookie. Maybe he just likes the I want a cookie. Maybe he was he... just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the specters. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? <sighs> I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Aww. You're not gonna give me your cookie that make me sad. Don't oh my god, you just keep on fucking Maybe going in circles. Maybe the only thing I care about is stopping Sarah. You're right, Commander. I should go. Goodbye. I don't... Here, wait. 
Yes, Commander. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble <laughs> always has been. The whole planet is basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your okay, mind. guys, you gotta tell me where do I go Novaria first? The only form of Citadel Novaria, the Artemis Tau cluster, or Pharos? I'm not going to Novaria because I went there my first time I played this game and got murdered, and then I didn't play the game again until today. So, Pharos or Artemis Tau? I should go. go. My name is Commander Shepard, and I said you're a butt face. But, 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 but. I unlock the keepers of the butt sex. Oh. Hmm. Why should I do Pharaohs? Tell me why should I do Pharaohs? Being contaminated. Mm. Decontamination in progress. Talia Al Ghul. Decontamination in. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission. You're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Oh, fuck. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Oh, viewpoint. Ha! Uh, sweet! I got a fucking experience from looking out a window. Commander. Something yes, I wanted to sit here and talk to Seth Green. <laughs> How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while mm. to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. Mm. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I get a cookie now. Ray, answer me please, yes or no. I don't know what was your question. I've been looking. I like to know my crew. 
Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I'm the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Damn right. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Uh. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not going to hand you anything if you go around grinning like I grin like an idiot. <laughs> By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Bye, Joker. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, bye, Joker. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, that's the exit. Never mind. I don't want to go there. What was that? What was that? Hold on, I saw a thing. Ha! Ah. Navigator Presley. Talk, I'm hitting A and he's not working. He doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Open the door. Hit the flow. Call you a hoe. That's what's up for show. Caden Christensen. Rape time. The fuck? Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time. Alright, Kaden, you're boring as fuck. Oh, man. Oh, look, a sleep pod. That's where I could go to sleep. <laughs> I could be like, wee. Sleep time, but then no. My name is Ray, and I gotta play a video game. Ooh. Ooh. I love gaining experience for hitting the A button. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh dear God. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Nope. I should go. Ah. Uh, the elevator. Activate. My ass feels okay right now. It doesn't hurt at the moment, but I think it's because I'm sitting up. So. I can't go to sleep until at least 9 o'clock because I gotta call my future landlady and ask her about my girlfriend's pay stub. She needs that pay stub back for 
I don't remember why she needs it back. I don't think she ever told me that. But she needs her pay stub back. And our future landlady has it. Rex! Nice ship you got. Thanks! What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves I appreciate out. that all the aliens speak English. <laughs> what can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that. Da, 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 da. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? They'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long. So long, Rex. I like Rex. Shepherd. Oh shit, I can equip people right here. Fucking A. Ashley! Commander? Ashley's kinda hot. We should bang her. Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. I want to go talk to Garrus. Thanks for bringing me on board. But I like the Turians. They're cool the people. Worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. See, Sec, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. 
So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. C-Sex handling of Saren is typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate it. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside c -Sex. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Okay. Um... I'm not drunk, I'm tired. <laughs> Very tired. Hey Commander, looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy ah, more. I've already, I've, already I've, already brought, I've already bought some. Licenses. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Ba -da 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 da 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 I got so many guns and shit. I can fucking sell so much shit and I can buy stuff as well uh. I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything from him some of these things are really nice I'll admit it. Wait. Look shut up. Supplies? Yes. Shut up. Shut up. Yet, I want that Metagel upgrade. That's important. The Metagel upgrade is important. I want to go down faster. Yeah. Sure, I'll do grenades too. Why not? Okay. What's down here? I'm so tired. Ooh. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to what? fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. Go to sleep, ho. Go to sleep, ho. If you tired, be quiet and go to sleep, ho. Sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I turned up the game for you guys. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. 
We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Dar Darth Hamilton, ask your question again. I didn't see your question. Don't be such a jerk. You jerk. Ugh, sorry. I should go. Ugh. See you later. I fucking leveled up for looking at a car. Okay, <laughs> let's see. My sniper rifle is now as Hey Commander, you know that quarry in yeah. Valley? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. Cool. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Hold on, I'm trying to read that one guy's question. I gotta find it though. Darth something, something, something. Let's see. Did he answer? Did he ask it again? I don't see. I don't see the question again. So. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES. I want to know all about this ship and shit. Exactly? All the fucking bullshit. They hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you my favorite to drink is. So our stealth systems trap the energy we get off the storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions um, to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be. I don't know. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. Hmm. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate... There's a timer in the, in the video. It says how long the stream has been going for. But yeah, people are mean, Kingdom Hops. I agree with you. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. I want to know more about the Normandy. Yeah! She's the best ship I've ever seen. Cool! On, probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive. Xbox 360 is what this is being played on, sexy eyes. What's so special about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. Here we go. Open the door. I'm going to try to talk to the navigator guy one more time. 
Yeah, it worked. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Bitch, I will kill you. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an alliance. This is the only Mass Effect I've assault. played. We couldn't even so, keep track of how many I guess this missed. one. Because I've never played Mass Effect 2. How'd uh, you end up on and the let's see. I got my officer's commission after I've only played up to this far in Mass right Effect, people. so there you go. Ask for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Captain Anderson, where are you? <laughs> You're supposed to be in here. Okay. Oh shit, son. Supposedly, constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station served as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is stimulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Total length open 440 kilometers. I'm fucking America. We don't do kilometers here because people in America are retarded. Diameter open 12.8 kilometers. Population 13.2 million, not including keepers. Gross weight 7.11 billion metric tons. Holy shit balls. Zoom out! This is so cool. I want to go to this star. Holy shit. I can't zoom out anymore. Why not? The universe is so huge. This is as much as I get to explore. Look, you, I can see other galaxies and shit from here. Exit! I'm not picking a spot yet because I forgot to do one thing, and that is save. I need to save. And then decide what the fuck I'm gonna do. Cause I am not going to start over from the beginning ever again. This is this is holy oh, balls. I need to sleep. Uh, I'm going to stop live streaming in about 40 minutes or so, around 9 a.m. Central Time. That's goddamn. I hit the wrong button. That's what I'm gonna stop um, live streaming. So, cause I need to call. I need to make a phone call and then I need to sleep. Otherwise, yeah, this is just oive. Okay, so I know a bunch of you said Pharos, and I saw overwhelmingly that was the answer. So Pharos it is. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules.
I'm going to Pharaohs. Why should I get Liara? Yeah, don't bass me around, okay? Logan, it's like Wolverine. Seattle, Sharing, Kwana. The Exogenai Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two thirds of the planet's mass. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris. Dozens of meters deep, there are indications that Pharos is a much colder world than the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin, the farther, and Varde. Colony founded 2178, population 300. Capital Exogeni building. Orbital period 3.2 years, radius 836, 8,366 8, kilometers. Fuck, am I tired? Day length 30.3 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure 5.44 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature 10 degrees Celsius. Surface gravity 1.1 G's. Let's land. I'm fucking driving a spaceship and shit, man. Okay. Yes, Commander. Fuck off. Carry on. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, Joker. You're such a Joker. Commander. Something you need? Nope. I have to go. I just wanted to make I sure. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. David Altalakane. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the Yeah. Park. Look out! Oh shit, Dan! I've lost shields! Get out of my way, Rex. Motherfucker's going down.
I'm gonna kill all you motherfuckers. All you motherfuckers gonna die. Pop your head out, bitch. Oh, too bad for you. Too bad. Uh oh. The radar is jammed. Oh shit, this is all. <gasps> Fuck was that, man? Ooh, I can see his penis. Okay, things are going well. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers are getting thin. Get ready. Die of thirst. The gas will surely kill us all. How is a woman supposed to think the gun's going off all right? This man is hurt. Somebody help him. I fear the gift will kill us all. The gas are mounting another attack. Ah, oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the... Don't worry, I'll kill them all. Oh, shit. Shit's saving. Uh... You use your shield boost. You use overkill. And I'll use nothing, I guess. Where are they? Fuck you guys! I will just sit here and kill you. No, I'm trying to talk. Fuck you. I don't want to die. Please, don't let me die. What you got on me? What you got on me, punk? What direction should I go? I'm gonna go this way first. Okay. Okay, that was boring. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Oh, okay, alright, here we go, we got this, we got this. 
I'm going to bed soon. Don't worry. Shit! Fucking Speedy Gonzalez over here and shit. Out of the way, Rex. Fuck. Ah, sorry, I was itching my eye. Not now, Shepard. Why not? What you got on me, bitch? I destroy the guest destroyer. Level up, bitch. What you got on me? What you got? Saving my content. The guest will be back. Update Fidan, but don't take long. We should roll out the vehicle and find where the guests are bunkered. Yeah! What vehicle? Fuck are they talking about? I'm gonna take my squad and update what the fuck they're doing. I'm just gonna go like this. Pistols. Snipers. Oh shit, he had a lot of points. Uh... Light is in the air. Okay. Equipment. Cool. I don't use I don't use these. I, I use pistols. What I need to do is he uses this. She uses a pistol, I believe. There we go. I'll save that motherfucker, but I'll do a new save. Just in case. What does Omnigel do? I don't know what Omnigel does. Ooh. Override using 25 Omnigel. Well, that answers my question, kinda. Ladders in the air, ladders in the air. That is bad, it's a bad piece of armor.
<sighs> but what does it get used for? Lockers and stuff. But doing the hacking thing is easy. I'd rather have credits than Omni Gel. Cause the hacking shit's easy as shit. I'd rather sell it and get credits. My name is Commander Shepard, and I shall shoot shit in the head. That is my calling. And I'm excited. <laughs> Not really everywhere. I mean. How about Tali? You use your. Gangsters are us. Is the store I go to. I go to that store. Every day that I'm hustling. Okay. I think we're making progress here. Although I don't think I'm supposed to be going this way. Grenade in your ass, bitch. Oh, your head's fucking off your body and shit. of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I was supposed to go back and talk to that dude, but I was like, there's stuff to do, though. Uh, Seriously, Rex, get out of my way. Oh, your head has been exploded and shit. Oh, okay. Time to switch to the sniper rifle, just the way I like things. Oh my good lordy wordy, how you must be gone off of that quarter bottle. Tolly went down. Maybe Tolly should stop being such a dumb bitch. Ian Newstead. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! Okay. That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying!
I like this guy. This one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out. Okay. That guy is weird. But that's okay. Sometimes the world needs weird people. One of my next live streaming, I'll live stream tomorrow, Sunday, by the way, in case you're wondering what I mean by tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday, probably around 6 o'clock. It's probably when I'll live stream next. And it. It could be for two hours, it could be like it is this time where I'm just playing and playing and playing. I don't really have any plans, uh, but I will be doing Mass Effect. Um, I w there, that did it. The system is active. I don't know what system you're talking about, but that's good. So, uh, yeah, I'll be playing Mass Effect on Sunday at around 6, and I'll stop playing whenever I feel like it, I guess, because uh, I need to play this game. Uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. So, uh, Central is in Minnesota time in America, um, or Chicago time in America, because it's the same time zone. Um... So figure out whatever time zone that is for you. Google it. Oh, the elevator is out of service. That's too bad. The tower is secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. 
What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life ah! Even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site. Two hundred more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zoo's Hope. <sighs> The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. I gotta go talk to some bitch about stuff. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. I don't really care I about have to go. you. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh, I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. I see no major injury, but something must be causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. You're the one who repelled that last wave. Hell yeah, I am. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. I have to go. So long, Commander. I gotta find the motherfucker about water. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. 
How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks. And few Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be... A pistol! I don't have the money for that pistol. I don't have the money for anything he has. Fuck this guy. I'm supposed to talk to somebody about water. Nice work with those geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I yep. assume. Now we just need to deal with the gas and we can get back to growing the colony. Here, a few credits for your trip. Yay! Thank you again, Commander. I helped her and she's all like, thanks bro, and I'm like, no problem, dog. She's like, don't call me a dog, bitch, and I was like, call me a bitch again, I'll fucking cut you. So, that's what happened. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship. <laughs> Nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I, this work must be completed. This work must be completed. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Davin does what he can. They'll try to rebuild the command post soon. Uh, that was a fucking pointless walk. <sighs> okay. Let's go fly a kite. Up to the highest height. I don't know where I'm actually supposed to go now. I'm kind of, kind of lost. Oh fuck! I just went in a circle. Your mom has seen better days. The elevator scene yet again. Yay. Watch out. What? What happened? I'll be here any minute now. Oh. I don't know how much more I can take. Oh, I helped you guys out, so you're welcome and shit. And now to the Geth base. Expect heavy resistance. Oh fuck, what is that? Ah oh, fuck, what is going on? I can't save right now. So that sucks. The last batch went south. What are they looking for? We're receiving a weak comm signal. 
I can't pinpoint its location to get interference. Come on, I almost got it dead. Yeah! My ship is being repaired. <laughs> oh, shit. Upgrade time for your mom. Upgrade time for your mom. Okay, I'm not tired. I am tired. I'm very tired. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, whoa, 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 Mako, calm down. Slow your roll. Slow your roll, Mako. Wait a second. There's people over here to kill.
Fuckers! Oh, you think you slick or something? You're not slick! Okay! How do I get down there? Oh, right here. Uh, I see it. X, Y, B. That shit's easy. I got a whole bunch of new shit. Yeah. See, that's what you get for murdering people. Yes, it's Mass Effect 1, and now it's gonna be done. I need to save though. So I gotta get this, but once this Mako se section is done and I can save, I'm done. I gotta get some sleep, so. Uh, again, if you're just. Forget them. We need to find the Geth. It's moving off. Right to the Exogeny headquarters. I can't drive. Am I supposed to be up here? I don't wanna go up here yet. This Mako has horrible driving. Horrible. Okay, so as soon as this Mako section is done, I'm going to bed. I've been up since. We seem to have caused some concern. Your mom caused some concern. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not. Dead. I'm a guest. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They live, though the Geth have devastated their colony. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to... <sighs> They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? 
Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Yeah. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Because YouTube lets you pause it when it's live. That's how Shadow Z12529. Ha! Take that! Live! Eat your own words, punk! Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Ow. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter. Can I save? I can save. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys. Uh, for those of you who just joined, I apologize. Uh, I've been playing on this live stream for eight and a half hours. I've been up for even longer. Uh, I've been up since 2 p.m. yesterday. It is now 9 a.m. And I need sleep. So thank you guys for joining, and I will see you guys on Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Figure out your own time zone, because uh, there's a lot of you, and I, I can't do that by myself. Um, and I'll be doing more Mass Effect, uh, and this is all in preparation for Mass Effect 3, which comes out on Tuesday. So, I will see you guys later. Have fun, and peace.